lights left. It was so good. Tucson, Arizona. Thank you all very much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and play songs. First one is about, um, I, I, I used to live in the Northeast. I grew up in Vermont. At a certain point, I moved to Arizona to change what I was doing with my life. And the song is about, is about doing that, moving across the country and trying to do something new. It doesn't always work. A lot of people move across the country and do exactly the same thing. So, you know. uh, there's that element, too. Uh, but, but, uh, but definitely just being jarred out of uh, my routines was very helpful to me. Yeah. Everything. 
Somewhat, somewhat awkwardly structured, but you know, if anyone feels like they like they want more space, then there's plenty of space over here. Um, yeah.
described as uh, probably don't apply anymore. Probably people don't use those terms. Uh, is melodic punk still a thing? Is that a scene? I know that ska is a scene. Kill Lincoln played an excellent set of ska music. Which was, yeah, it was awesome. I, 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 I just loved it. <laughs> that, uh, the last song that I, that I played was the last song that I wrote before I got sober, and I'm gonna, as a follow-up, I'm going to play a song I wrote about a year later. It was about the first year of what that was like. century uh, Russian nihilists who were, who were, were uh, <laughs> vicious and brutal and violent in their attempts to destroy the monarchy uh, in Tsarist <laughs> Russia. Uh, and they had, they had all kinds of very, I mean, to me, just very spectacular uh, and heroic and adventurous stories um, that are not really possible to pull off now. Like, it was possible then if you wanted to kill the king to just get a job at the palace, maybe, and that, you know, you know like, like, like that might help him do it. Uh, it was very hard to get a job at the White House, probably, at this point, if you had a similar goal now. Uh, or, you know, if your friends got locked up in prison, you might just get a job at the prison and let them out. Like, you know, you know these things are harder at this point. Um, but yeah, I, I sort of, I, I tried to sort of think about, like, what the mindset of someone who is carrying out those actions in their daily life might be like, and then I sort of wrote this as a character study, and it kind of, kind of scares me. I have like 10 more pull-ups I need to do. Um, I'm going to get up in a second and I'm probably going to smoke some weed, even though I don't, I really didn't want to do this streams uh, stoned. Like at least start off that way, but I've been arguing with uh, uh, a female doctor in Arizona may or may not be. Uh, nothing can be proven in this world. Um, but uh, I've been arguing with a female doctor in Arizona who is of the opinion that the morning after pill is the abortion pill, which, 
you may immediately you think to yourself, well, that's not a doctor. Well, I've known stupider doctors in my day. So, um, let's see. Um, so let me get my last 10. I've 200 push ups, and then this push, pushes me over. This will put me into 100 pull ups. Um, 95. Uh, either way, give me a second. Ice up. You counted incorrectly. I know how to count to 10. You're counting on movement of knees and legs you couldn't seek properly. All right, now let's do this. I'm going to deal with my fair share of absolutely stupid doctors in the last two decades since I got sick. Yeah, I don't really. Oh, they do. Beast. It's called continuing education called your CE credits. It's totally a thing they need to do. Um, oh, Kaiser. I'm sorry you don't feel well, Kaiser. That sucks. <sighs> All right, let's do this. I'm already sick of being sober. I'm already fucking sick of being sober. <sighs> I have ice water. Let's do this, bitch. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Cassie. All right. <coughs> so, everybody, um, Big Pharma is offering $1.3 million <coughs> um, for people who transition, apparently. Where's the link? Where's the link? There it is. This is the full link. Okay, so there's an article going around that you're going to see about a Santa Rosa. Um, a, a, oh my God. Confirm, close, site is garbage. Anyway, there's a Santa Rosa County School Board candidate. Uh, running against an incumbent um, who's saying some crazy shit. You're going to see the doctor's hang headline. Personally, I don't think that's the most interesting one. Um, these doctors going along with mutilating these children and prescribing hormone, hormone blockers to these kids, in my opinion, they should be hanging from the nearest tree, Lancaster said. Uh, as Elizabeth, A-L-I-S-A-B-E-T-H. Elizabeth Jani, Jani, Jenny, Jenny, J-A-N-A-I, Lancaster, uh, made her comments about gender, uh, gender reassignment Monday night at a political forum. My favorite, though, she said a bunch of crazy shit. She said a bunch of crazy shit, like a bunch. But <clears throat> my personal favorite um, was, uh, was the... What was going on there was the fact that she claimed pharmaceutical companies are paying $1.3 million to transition. I'm still trying to figure out 
what what phone number or who at GlaxoSmithKline we're supposed to be calling, because you better believe I'll fucking rock a fake set of tits or what? What do I have to do? What 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 what's the qualifier? One point three mil, right? Can I do? Is there is there like contractual requirements? Do I have to like? Are there like check boxes I have to meet, or can I just throw a fucking dress on for a minute? Because like what? What are the qualifications? What 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 in her mind? What are the qualifications? Because if there's 1.3 million on the table, there's a lot of cis het dudes that would be down for this. They'd be like, "Wait, how much money? What do I have to do?" <laughs> uh, like I Bree, um, like I said, I'm trying to figure out who. Like, is it is, is it like Bayer? Is it is it GlaxoSmithKline? Like who do I call? Is it like public information? I, I haven't gotten my I haven't got my hands on the the who the who what where why and how. But as soon as I have that eight hundred number, you better believe me. I'll be spreading that number around. Fucking one point three million dollars to transition apparently because this crazy bitch. Fucking Elizabeth Janney fucking Lancaster Santa Rosa. Of course it's fucking Santa Rosa. Is it Soros? Do I call Soros? She said pharmaceutical companies. She straight up says pharmaceutical companies are paying $1.3 million for people to transition. So what? You know, there's some motherfuckers out here doing it for free. There was $1.3 million on the table. Hang on a second. <laughs> Wait a second. I got I got like people in network that need a heads up on this one. Wait, I know I know motherfuckers that were paying. You got you can you can get 1.3 mil? Hmm. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Uh, Bree, Nevada, Medicaid would cover that surgery. We have gender uh, gender affirming surgery covered under our Medicaid program in Nevada. Yeah, we cover the hormones too, but like, just saying. Ah, uh, we need that phone number. <laughs> Let's be honest, Elizabeth would get her tits chopped off for that money too. You better believe Elizabeth would, and don't spell her name incorrectly, Crimson. It's A L I S A B E T H, Elizabeth. Ah, <laughs> uh, Marcus is right. White people complain about black people names, but the fact of the matter is, is white people names are just as fucking doofy sometimes. We got the box standard boring ones that have been around for a fucking thousand years. You got your Michaels and your Johns and your Smiths and bullshit like that, right? But then we we come up with some weird ones, like we truly do, because we want to be different. We want to stand out, and you know, in a world a sea of blandness. That is, uh, you know, white suburbia. Fucking. Look at, I mean, that Elon shit even. That fucking naming his kids some fucking formula. The fuck was that bullshit? Fucking miss me with this Epsilon nonsense that you're trying to fucking pull off. You fucking attention horn narcissist garbage piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Well, they renamed the kid. Of course they renamed the fucking kid. It was for attention. You fucking name that kid that shit. The first thing that kid's going to do is come up with a new goddamn name for itself at like age four or something. Fucking nonsense. Jesus goddamn Christ. Why people be doing stupid ass shit? Yeah, blanket, apple, fucking. I mean, as much as we all love fucking River Phoenix. What the fuck is that? That's some dumbass hippie new age white people shit and you know it. Joaquin Phoenix, River Phoenix. Come on. When is like didn't they have a tree and something else in that family? Do the like that whole family had like doofy hippie names. All of them. <sighs> Woman named A B C D E explains how to pronounce it. Says she's been called obesity. I okay, how the fuck do I say A B C D E? Because quite frankly, No, I don't accept. Just fuck off. 
Oh, <laughs> alphabet. I like alphabet. That's a good one. I like that shorthanding it to like just alphabet. <laughs> like what alpha? What up, Alf? Uh, yeah. Where's where's the pronunciation? Where's the actual pronunciation? Am I fucking insane here? Is this whole thing... Where is the goddamn pronunciation of this chick's name in this piece? How do I get to the pronunciation? What is this? Not what the fuck is this madness? It's absidy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Absidy. Okay. And then this nonsense. Holy shit. Yeah. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. That's some nonsense if there ever was. The fuck was that name? No. You know. I'm not over it. I'm not over it. What was that fucking name? G H L Y N N Y L space H Y L H Y R space Y Z Z Y G H Y L space M A M P U A N space B U S C A T O. Okay, so Biscato, we know. Mampuin, we know. Glenel? Glenel Hillerher Yizzy Gul Mampuin Biscato. Maybe? He's been nicknamed Consonant. Apparently. That works. That works. What's up, Dig? Um, this girl's going through her whole life being teased about her name. She just legally changed it already. I, dude, this is one of those areas where people are like, you know, individuality and that sort of thing. This is where I say just give in to the hive mind. Just give in to the hive mind on this one. You're pushing way too hard. If, if you're in a friend group, if you're in a friend group, this especially happens among straight dudes. This especially happens among straight dudes. Dude, you cis het dudes, this, base, this shit is basically like law. You can, like that, end up never being called what you want to be called again. In an instant. In an instant. You fuck up. And bring flowers to something or trip or make some just stupid ass mistake <clears throat> or do something amazing, something legendary, something funny, something memorable, right? You can instantly be Rick and nicknamed. You're, you're going to the grave with that name. You're going to the grave with that name. It, it, it's just the way it is. I, 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 this is one of those things that I don't. I, I, I'm okay with this form of collectivism. I am. Uh, you, have a, you have an individual identity and you have a social identity. And if the social identity, the social identity is not within your control completely. It, you're, you're only a partial participant within it. That's, that's that at best. So like you just sort of have to accept it. It's a part of like this. What the fuck we do? So... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I really think I mean, it's just, dude. You're getting way too much friction for your name. Just change it. Just check, pick what you don't. You have something you've always wanted to be instead, dude. I have this. I changed my name. Like this is the thing. Like I look at this a lot differently than a lot of people do. I had a name I didn't like, so I changed it. It's that simple. I think. We have an entirely wrong policy on naming in society. I think we should have a temporary name and then we should have a name that we choose and it should be part of some adulting ceremony. 
I think we should have a social, socially accepted marker. And at that marker, you can choose and you should choose a new name. You can keep your old one. You don't have to change it. But I think there should be like a, a, a moment where we look at people and go, okay, do you feel like you? Or do you have some other identity that you would prefer? And I think this could be a useful moment in a lot of fucking ways. But I think we could build it around the name. I think the name is like the, the I think the name, right? Your name is Michael and you fucking, you know, you're, 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 if whatever age, if like 18, you turn 18 and your, your parents are like, you know, and they, it's fucking a legal process. It's a legal process. But you, you want to change your name. What's your name? Michelle. Okay. Right. Like that should just be a part of sometimes that happens, you know? Yeah. I, I, I've, I've thought about this for years and years and years. I think we, it's weird that we assign names to people like the, the first name, right? I think that we have to accept that there's this like social level of like nicknames and stuff that we play with and have fun with. Um, but <clears throat> the first name, the chosen name, right? Like that, I, 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 I think that's weird that that is, that we're gonna talk autonomy and we name people Right? You want to talk freedom? You want to talk in bodily autonomy? You want to talk individuality? Your parents named you. The thing that you call yourself in your own head. That's not even yours. It's weird. It's weird that we, we pay lip service to these ideas, these philosophies, these ideologies. But people just skate right by the fact that like... This social, legal, ec economic identifier is given to you. It's assigned, just like your social security number. It's completely out of your control. Except it's not. You can just change it. It's a pain in the ass and it costs money, but you know what? You can just change it. Oh, and if you're in the UK, <laughs> the UK <clears throat> can just go on to a website and change their name via deed poll and get a thing sent to them a couple weeks later. Certificate of change. Straight up. Once upon a time in common law um, in, um, in Britain... Um, it was legal to perform a name change. The, the process by which one would na change their name was to declare in a public forum that they hereby were going to be known as something else. So the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that you could walk into a bar and say, my name's now John. And if people were like, cool, come on in, John, that was a name change. That counted. That was recognition of you. You was the community, the the public space. Like this was the element of it. This was how one changed a name. So the UK has really interesting ways of looking at legal name structures. Um, and yeah, they can change their name via deed poll for free on a website. Whereas in the US, it's a different thing entirely. Yes. Exactly, Bree. Yep. And you have to pay for every step of the way. You have to pay to file the paperwork in the court. You have to, like, that's, you know, if you're lucky enough to know how to do that or you have a, a system that will guide you through it. But <clears throat> you have to pay to uh, file the paperwork in court. Then you have to pay to um, publish that you're changing your name in a legal newspaper of some sort. <clears throat> and then that uh, affidavit of declaration has to be sent over to the court by the newspa uh, newspaper. Then the, um, by the way, the paperwork that you have to file has to have an explanation to the judge. 
why you're changing your name. You're not just in the US, you can't just say change my name because I said so. You have to explain to a judge why you're changing your name and the judge has to approve it. From almost all cases, they approve it, right? Like it's it's fairly commonplace procedure, legally speaking, but the process is still there and it's still, you know, very paternalistic. It's very authoritarian. It's a pain in the ass. So you have to explain to a judge why you're changing your name and then you, um, then time goes by and then a, uh, a judge, w then you have to file again and that's the final submission to the judge. I've, f I've met all of the, the, the requirements basically now. Can you, will you sign the magic paper for me, please? Um, and then the judge signs off on it and then you have to get certified copies of that. And then in the US, you have to immediately turn around and go to the Social Security Administration and you have to file with them. Um, the Social Security Administration will show you, like I talked about this, what the Social Security Administration is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, it's not even what I, you, most people would think. So I went in with <clears throat> all my required stuff, court order, social security card, this sort of, st uh, a driver's license, this sort of stuff, right? Get my paperwork for a while. I, I finally get the appointment. It's a whole thing getting the appointment. We won't go into this, but I go there. He goes to Social Security Administration, and I walk, I rock up to the fucking desk, <clears throat> and it's this dude, and they're on COVID, and COVID is really great for the Social Security Administration. This dude has, like, minimal work to do. It's, like, a very slow line. It's probably the best his life has ever been. Um, he's actually on chill mode. So I rock up and I'm like, hey, you know, this, this, I'm like, so, uh, you know, of course, me being infinitely curious, I ask, and because he's got a computer, I'm like, so what happens? Like, what's the check process on this? Do you, like, do, does it, like, does it go into a database for, and then it gets further approved? Is it batch done? Is it individual? And this guy literally chuckles. He goes, no, here, I'll show you. He spins his fucking computer around. Not kidding you. He's like, I'll show you exactly how this works. He literally has... A, uh, a fucking secure um, terminal session into a host server virtual machine session window box of a Internet Explorer app uh, a website. It's an Internet Explorer run web application of sorts. Old school. It's several generations old. He pulls me up, right, at the federal level. He just pulls my file, changes my name. And when I looked at the paperwork, I said, oh, by the way, the, you have my birth city wrong. He's like, really? We can just change that too. He changed my, f uh, he fucking changed my uh, um, birth city. Save. He said, there, it's done. He's, uh, he said, uh, he said the uh, final push will be done at midnight. They all get done in, in a single batch. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like that's, that's. That's the Social Security Administration. Everybody checks against that. The DMV will check against the Social Security Administration database. Like, it is super fucking... It, it's just like, okay. That was, that was it. It was one and done. And it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. What's up, Gemma? Resolution, yep. That's exactly how it works. Source, work with social security records all day, every day. Yeah, it's it's just done. It's like, okay. <clears throat> security is a strong word. Oh. How's uni been, Gemma? How's it been treating you? <laughs> the Trump people weren't wrong about the power of bureaucrats. Just how exciting their jobs usually are. Yeah, no, it's, it's real fucking simple to change your actual identity in this country, it seems like. It's just, you need the access. And the access is difficult, but if you have that access, Dude, you could backstop somebody, no problem. What's up, Papa? 
That's good. I'm glad you're happy with your grades. Um, are you happy with what you're learning? Do you feel like you're learning? Do you feel like you're you're progressing? Because grades are one thing entirely. I mean, that's, you know, whatever. But how do you feel about the process? What's up, cat? Uh, so many fucking headlines for popos. Just stacking them up. Oh, Jesus. Boom, can you rock Wolfgang? Wolfgang is a strong name. Wolfgang is a very strong name. You got to be able to rock Wolfgang. Okay, that's good. Oh, uh, here, cat. I got a video for you. You may or may not have already seen it. И прадеды он сражался с фашизмом. В память о Сэйди Горе купили. Новенькую машину. Новая Лада куплена на то, что в народе называют гробовыми, а официально единовременным пособием семье погибшего. Отец говорит, что Алексей мечтал именно о белой, о такой. Выезжает в первый раз на кладбище. Well, my kid died, but I got a new white Lada. That or Viscous mentioned it. God, it was Viscous, probably. There's the video. Oh, uh, new uh, new tanky lore drop, uh, courtesy of Infrared, apparently. Just FYI. I, you know, I try and keep up. I try and keep up. So apparently the Pat Sox, uh, the patriarch, uh, patriar uh, patriarchal, um, the, the patriotic socialists have split. There's already a schism. The Pat Sox are no more. All that remains are Mecca tankies and Mensheviks. Little blast from the past and some has craziness. Um, Mecca tankies, tankies liquidate hipster by step. The Pat Sox downs. Oh... He thinks he's a philosopher. Um, he thinks he's a lot of things. He thinks he's a lot of things. Um, I, I just, it, 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 it's funny. It's funny. Let me try this. Hold on. I want to try this. Okay. It's working again. Just want to make sure. Beautiful. They're cannibalizing themselves. Yeah. I thought it was Yellowstone socialist versus regular socialist. Oh, has. He's adorable. Um, so, have you guys seen the... Okay, probably not. All right. Yay! Blue-haired, tolerant, liberal... Already, already on a ban evasion monitor. Jesus Christ, homie. A five, a five hour old account. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. This will be fun. Um, is he, is he still going to the next anarchist book fair? Probably not. Okay. So I love this. This fucking drawing. So apparently some fucking I voted sticker bullshit contest. Um, the leading winner is some 14 year olds drawing for the I voted sticker. This is the 14 year olds drawing. <laughs> it's winning with 94% of the vote. <laughs> Uh, 
It's a it's a landslide. It's a fucking landslide. This is a, Oh this is this is just <laughs> Oh My socialist revolution comes to power. Interesting. I'm not I'm not planning on leading a socialist revolution. That's that's interesting though. Um suppose not. Not a whole lot. Not really. Yeah. No, it's not really a thing I'm doing. Does anybody am I I mean, I I, I rely on the, the collective hive mind here a fair amount. Um have we been planning a socialist revolution? If the three percent aren't people, can we consider it a consensus decision? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the resolution you know it's not on my to-do list to be honest i mean i don't really trust socialists ref <laughs> marcus you might want to check your spam folder for the meeting minutes yeah you know what hold on let me just check my spam folder really quickly junk no 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 i, I mean i clear out my junk on a regular basis let's see no no no, I mean that's that's the the biannual ritual sacrifice. No, it's it's the source. I mean, it's by not, no, 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 no. I don't see anything here about socialist revolution. No, no. We definitely have the uh, the the eleventh dimensional demonic entities um, that we uh, we give ourselves to who puppet us and control us from beyond the veil. Uh, that's on the 11th of next month, but I mean, it's fairly open between all the Illuminati stuff and the Bilderberg meetings. No, no socialist revolutions. Got a lot of, a lot of capitalism on the books though. A lot of capitalism on the books. Anyway. <laughs> Aspen only 11th. I've been talking about 12th shit. How's that lab grown adrenochrome going? Hey, there it is. There's the death threat. Ah, oh. uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not it, Cupcake. It's already... Yeah, that's... That's that's just how that works. He couldn't hang. Five-hour-old account. He's going to burn it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he went too hard too fast. He burned out. He was like Jimi Hendrix, man. He burned bright and fast. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, he did do it. He did cover a little clip of ground. He ran. He ran hard and fast. He just, you know, candle at both ends. Exactly. Sonia, uh, damn it. Did I miss some fun? Uh, Sonia, it was a flash in the pan. He, you know, he brought a little something right out of the gate. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he didn't, he didn't reinvent the game, Sonya, but he definitely speed ran it with a uh, five hour old account that was already uh, marked uh, suspicious uh, for ban evasion. So, you know, I mean, he came in with a fucking, but he, he immediately, like, hmm, how many lines in was that? Hold on, I can tell you for sure. Um... He made it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven comments in. Um, by the seventh comment, he was making um, uh, oven comments. Yes. So, already marked suspicious, <sighs> making <clears throat> comments. 
And so he had to go. Death threats. You know, so TOS, he made it made it seven seven comments in. But he, you know, uh, you know, plans willing to hear our, our plans for when our socialist socialist revolution came to power. Um, stated he'd rather be a Nazi than a commie. You know, he I, he he you know he had a flair to him, but ultimately short lived. It was a valiant attempt. Yes, I suppose. Speedruns can be amusing. Yeah, needs more practice. Yeah, he needs to fucking work on his game a little bit. He needs to pull off that. <laughs> I don't look like a Swedish hobo. Cool. You know what? I'll take it. Uh... He's in Virgin Allah now. Um, I heard that streamers are going to be uh, able to share banned user info sometime soon. So I wanted to pass out a bot. Oh, uh, we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably be able to export our banned list. That's all it's going to be is you're probably just, just going to give us an ability to export the banned list. Yeah. Fucking, you can, I, I, you can already copy paste it. Okay, that wasn't... Alright, oh, fuck. I'm like, did I have a response all, from this fucking doctor bitch? <laughs> fucking... Oh, my God. be like a handshake between users and it'll, con uh, it'll connect to the flag users thing. Hmm. You know what I'd like? I'd like a system that tells me information but allows me to not act and I'd like analytics attached to it. I'd like to see the like I'd like to see the analytics on like commonalities, hot spots. F I want a heat map. I want to see um, degrees of interconnectedness. I want to see all the analytics on that data. But I also want to be able to like not action it. I, I I want I want to be able to be hands off. If I want to be, I want that system to be zero to a hundred. I want the option. But more importantly, I want the analytics. I want to know about this data. I want it looked at, categorized, processed, contextualized, and presented. Right? I want the full Google Analytics package breakdown on that data. I want to know about it. What's the geolook on those fucking IPs? I want it. I want that information. I'm not kidding you. They'll never give it to us. Anonymize the IP. Tell me where it's coming from. Could be VPNs, could be not. But tell me, like, there's going to be, like, I want all of the fucking, like, yeah, give me the analytics. Kai, the eye in the sky. Dig, you forget. I was a fucking systems admin for a lot of years. You better goddamn believe it. I don't, you're... Mm -mm. I have Citrix motherfuckers to the floor in my day. You know the reason, uh, like I'm an uh, <laughs> I'm an effective anarchist because I'm an effective fucking authoritarian too. When I've done it in IT, dude, that's that's the only place I've ever had to do it in my life. But yeah, I will fucking just permissions a fucking user to the floor straight up. You do nothing in this system. Right? Like, I know what this, what the tech can do. Dude, Google can prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt. Dude, the analytics on YouTube are astounding. I want, I want every last bit of data. And I want to be able to turn your shit off. I want auto mod within my control. I want your ban system within my control. I don't want fucking global settings being forced on me. 
I want I want to participate to whatever degree I choose to participate in granular details, not a complete on off switch. None of this bullshit. We can only make it partially fucking. It. It's all or nothing. Fucking give me the option. But more importantly, give me the data. Yeah. Unicorn, you just have to fuck. It's like, dude. No. I want all this information. All of it. Like, don't even... This This is the information that's relevant to streamers. Look, we can talk... The other shit is fucking... Dude, the, all, all a professional streamer needs is the fucking... The analytics for the fucking... Like, am I getting paid shit, which Twitch already has. But what you need, if you're going to have, like, any level of assurance within that space, is I need to know what's going on i want the data without participating <laughs> right like I, I i want that information and i think it should be separated out from whatever command and control system that they fucking put in place for this and i don't think it's going to be i think it's going to be minimal we're not going to get oversight uh level uh analytics on this on this information set we're not going to see the the level of analysis that we would all prefer to see it's going to be fucking something very bare bones very basic um because it's twitch they put absolutely no work into their back end system like that they don't have the dude there's 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 nothing which is like what we came from trust me i've seen nothing nothing this isn't nothing but this is in the corporate realm this is bare bones yeah, this is bare bones in the corporate realm of like data and analytics and what's possible. Yeah, just shuffle on over to Google and see what's possible over there. How much information you want. Dude, they'll, they can tell you down to the fucking word usually. Exactly where you lost your audience in the video. Fucking like, oh yeah. Google's like, we will give you all the information. All of it. We're collecting everything. <laughs> like, yeah, Google, like, and here it is in perfect graph form. It's ridiculous. It's insane to look at. You're like, yeah, then this should exist. But if we're going to talk about, like, fucking people who are using spaces to, like, you know, encourage shootings of black people, <laughs> like, hmm, maybe we should know where that's coming from. Uh... What do you want Twitch to show you? Why Dr. Disrespect was banned? I don't really give a shit why he was banned. Probably the reason I've heard over and over again. He probably pulled a pressure play at and just time the just sheer luck. Sheer luck. He tried to pull some bullshit. I was like, I'm fucking I'll use mixer. Mixer goes. They're like, guess what? We got you over a barrel now. Negotiating. Honestly, never watched the guy. <laughs> I literally never watched the guy. I've seen clips on like Reddit and stuff, like live stream fails and stuff, but I've never sat down for a Dr. Disrespect stream in my life. So I don't really care about that. No, information, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. It's that simple. And as far as like, I don't really care if a user is banned over us, like co-carnage or whatever. I mean, if you catch a ban at co-carnage, I mean, you, you can just have a bad day and catch a ban at co-carnage, but you can appeal. Um, I need to know if you were banned from very specific places. Like, there's only a handful of places that I'm concerned with. Like, there's there's legitimately my, like, oh, you got banned here, 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 and here? Okay. Cool. I don't need to know if you got banned from most spaces, quite frankly. So, if we could just trim this system so fucking, so it's just user to user, fine. That'd be great, actually. 
and maybe opt to just throw it into a public pool. Like, here's the global pool of, like, lists. Um, and then here's the, you know, user-to-user -user list. That would work. Hey, Gord. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good luck, cat. Now, when Cat asked me something about would I fuck Skynet, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, whatever it is, but yeah, I would. <laughs> oh, fucking infrared. <sighs> yeah, what was this study? What was the size of this? What? This isn't. Mm. Give me one second. I'm looking for a study on um, glyphosate being found in something like 87% of children tested. Um, but no. People are, yeah, this is broken as shit. Fascinating. All right, can't confirm that. Um, I was trying to ask questions about how earlier in life we could prevent one's insulin status, and it got me banned from which, oh, I mean, it, ah, that's just, I mean, wayward. That's one of those spaces, man. It's one of those spaces. You act correct, and even then you may get tagged because some shit you didn't even know about is about to hit, come out from left field at you. But, yeah, there's a whole bunch of those Reddits. There's a whole bunch of those subreddits. A whole bunch of those subs. Fucking late stage. Witches versus patriarchy. BPT. WPT. Um... Fucking dude, uh, finally, uh, I mean, 2x for sure. Um, fucking what's their names? Got like they voluntarily left the site. Um, the fucking high value man bullshit. Um, no, there's a whole bunch of those. Yeah, yeah, female dating strategy. Yeah, that they, they, they left Reddit, they went private and then they set up a website. Yeah, and they, they maintain that it was voluntary, not the... Dude, the whole site hated them. The whole site hated them. Dude, they had less support than fucking Trump's fucking subreddit. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. They had way less fucking support than the Trump, Trump subreddit. The, the, the degree by which Reddit hated sub, subreddit, uh, subs, trust me, FDS was higher than... The Trump one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Dude, everybody bagged on them. Everybody bagged on them. Fucking, they were constant targets. To be fair, I mean, they were super toxic. They are super fucking toxic people. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous to go through an FDS fucking thread. You're like, well, this is the craziest shit ever. It's 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 fucking leg beard shit. It's the same crazy shit that neck beards get up to. Leg beards. This is this is just the same shit. It's it's the other side of the coin. It really is. It's the just the saddest, vile, toxic, violent, misandrist bullshit that people can get up to. Yeah. And it's self justifying, and it's it's super fucked up. To just and infuriating for anybody that's got a lick of common sense and can you know follow a thread of logic. You're just like, how does that equal that? Yeah, it's batshit insane. You accuse me of just trying uh, trying to just say uh, women should just sleep with these guys, which was far from what I was saying. Well, then, wayward, plead your case. What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry, Rev. That sucks. 
It's all about outgroup shit, outgroup shit on those subreddits anyway. And nobody likes that shit. Yep, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Oh. Thank God none of my fucking sub, uh, subs have ever blown up. Dude, that's a fucking nightmare. Modding a popular fucking sub is just ridiculous. I've seen I've seen sub threshold, right? I've been I've been in the realm of like, okay, yeah, that's kind of big, but not like no, that's big. That's like legitimately big. Like yeah, I've never had to touch one of those. That's a whole fucking ball of wax, dude. It's just so much bullshit at that level, and I mean some sketchy ass shit too. Dude, Reddit's fucking mod structure has been caught out protecting pedophiles before. Don't f don't get it twisted. When I say it's fucked up, it's fucked up proper. Yeah, dude, they they've gotten into some shit over the years. Mm, that seems highly problematic. What was the what was the thesis there, Wayward? What are you proposing? What's the what's the logical thought behind that? It should be in my dry bag and my kayak. I had it clipped to the seat strap. Ugh. You may... So much about where you live, Rev, is perfect. I understand how much is broken and in how many ways it's broken, but you understand that just, you know, like, oh, I was out kayaking earlier today. Hey! And our friend from earlier has lost the account. I just got the actioned report um, email. Mm, that's an awkward. <laughs> Oh, well, a resolution. I told them a uh, Jewish moderator had been told by a, this account to get into the oven. If that doesn't do it. Um, oh, no, I'm 100% going to be jealous, Rev. I'm going to hate you. Uh... Yeah, I was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm probably this will probably do it." <sighs> Wayward, yeah, that that. I would let that one go, man. I would let that one go. They weren't entirely in the wrong. I'd have probably tagged your ass as well as a mod. Uh only Reddit bands I know I have a Dr. Cologne because fuck them. Um, I've got like my honoraries. You you gotta have you gotta have your like any new account you spin up, you gotta get your honorary bands in. Um conservatives always in a fun honorary band. R slash Sino is necessary as an honorary band. Uh, go over to any of the tanky and commie subs, those are always good uh, good honorary bands as well. Um, there's a whole, just like a bunch. What's up, Puka? That you, you know, you just carry as, you know, badges of honor. That like, yeah, I, I got my bands there. <laughs> nice dig. Um, nice Nova. Yeah, no, I... 100% I'll whatever um the problem is, is that when like oh god um <laughs> there's a whole bunch of fucking rules you can violate in places and not even know that it's coming your way like if you go into like late stage will late stage capitalism will um make it to the front page of all regularly um but like you can't say any any 
any ableist language in there and you will get auto modded like that dude i'm i'm not kidding you like it's it's yeah like that guy's an idiot pop you'll be getting a message like it for real like you, there's and if you catch a ban on on certain subreddits it carries over this is where my ire for Posada bot comes from is that there are like chains of um ban lists basically so if you're banned in this subreddit all these clusters of subreddit it's, will also ban just auto ban you um and so there's shit that you can get tagged for that you don't even know is coming your way and it could be like a whole cluster of ramifications potentially as a result of it it's the stupidest way to run shit it's so inefficient and it just deadens conversation and it just creates uh isolated echo chambers and you can see, you see it all the time you see it all the time the fucking walled garden effect and you're like jesus christ is calling someone a poopy butthead ableist? Actually, I think butthead would probably be ableist. It's in, it's it's um, implying, you know, ass for brains, shit shithead, stupid, right? Like it's it's it is an ableist slur at its core. Yeah, I, I legitimately, you may get tagged for that on LSC. I can't. It just depends on what mood, what mod, what day. It's just that sort of situation on that one. Auto mod, I don't think would tag you on that one, but a mod could and would. Oh no, I'm not, dude, beast. I'm not going near that fucking thing. Uh, but what if I meant it was a compliment? That doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's. I think it stifles conversation, but whatever. What if you call someone a synapse? <laughs> I think you could probably get away with that one, Papa. I think you could probably get away with that one. In in some of the even tighter spaces. Yeah, I think you could get away with that. Uh, yeah, it's a weird... It's a weird ecosystem. It's a weird subculture. Just read it. It's a huge website. People from all over the globe interacting and in very, it's, it's weird. I, I, you know, yeah, it's been, it's been part of my digital home for a bunch of years now. Um, um I just want to thank the Czech Republic. Uh, this this se this segment goes out to the Czech Republic for um, further funding the United States military industrial complex. The Czech Republic has selected the F thirty five for their next air uh, air supremacy uh, fighter system. They're planning to order twenty four of them from us. Cha ching cha ching. Does anybody have Boeing stock? Does anybody have Boeing stock? Are you are you into profiting from death and destruction? How about um, who? Let's see. Which Lockheed Martin? Lockheed, you're going to want to invest in Lockheed Martin to rake in the benefits from this sale. Let's look speed. These are going to be Lockheed Martin, of course, fifth generation advanced fighters. They're going to meet the mission requirements for future battlefields. Their general says. Ah. Uh. 24 of them. What's our cost per plane these days? Better. It depends what which version they're buying. And their press announcement didn't have what version of the plane they're buying. I can't I can't price it. Oh, they're buying F-35As. Oh, good. I do know what the price. So that's going to be $148 million for the A's. Um, so $148 million times 24. Uh, so they're spending about $3.55 billion buying planes from us. Oh, 
I don't want. There we go. I bet the Pelosi's already did. Oh, for sure. I just go in with Raytheon. They have the most generals in pocket. That's a solid, that's a winning strategy. That's a winning strategy. I can't go wrong with Raytheon either. I mean, they make so many of our uh, prime defense systems. Defense. Um, yeah, Raytheon, Raytheon builds lots of deadly shit, so uh, they constantly sell things. Um, Lockheed Martin, General Dynamics, Boeing, um, Raytheon. There's a whole host of them. That you could fucking, was it United Defense? There's a few. Or you could just go with like, you know, the downstream suppliers, you know, Rolls Royce making engines and shit and stuff like that. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So the Czech Republic just dropped $3.55 billion on some shiny new F-35s for F-35As, which is the Air Force version, I do believe. Uh, yes, the Air Force version is the F-35A, so their Air, their Air Force will be rocking them. Uh, for those in the market, if you um, have like a landing crew Marine Corps need, that'll be the F-35B. That'll cost you $251 million, but it comes with a vertical uh, integrated vertical takeoff system. So you might want to consider that. And then if you're going to be doing any like um, at sea launches, you're going to need the F-35C. That's the naval version. That costs $337 million. But, you know, it's an upgraded frame. It's got a more rigid tail hook for the tail hook and that sort of thing. So if you do have naval needs, that's the F-35C. Just contact your local Lockheed Martin dealer and they'll get you in touch with the right people. Do they come in pink? Um, in fact, unfortunately, we have not worked on a pink uh, um, a pink outer coating yet because of the um, deflective, uh, uh, the energetic del deflective nature of the um, bespoke coating that we put on the outside. Additional pigments at this time are unfortunately unavailable. Um, they are a set... Um, series of colors that we have chosen um if you want to speak to your salesperson we could probably run it up the chain and maybe down this down the line get some customized colors going for you but you know for for right now unfortunately you know you can have it in any color as long as that's the color we send it to you in um free ejector seat upgrades oh no no the ejector seats come standard these days yeah, we we're there. That's not DLC anymore. We uh, we we do integrate that now. Do know um, that unlike Britain and Israel, your country is not special. Um, so they will contain a dial home device. This is very real, by the way. Um, the F-35 uh, planes that we do sell abroad, they do contain a dial home device that checks against U.S. authorization fly lists. And if you ever um, attempt to utilize this weapon in any defensive or aggressive fashion, contrary to United States or its allies' interests, we will ground the plane. Israel and the UK have two of these key generator dial home devices of their own so they can control the sorties and launches for their planes. Um, but the Czech Republic will not be getting one of those key generators for sure. So, yes, every time that plane attempts to fire up, it's going to contact a series of military communication satellites and ask the United States for permission to fly. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> uh, I hate you. I hate you. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. <sighs> hmm. 
Yeah, that had to be pulled. And that probably has to fucking be pulled too, quite frankly. Just just for cause. Um it's almost like I can hear the satellites linking up in space right now. Um yeah, no, it's it, the F-35 is a hilarious program to follow. Um, I've been following it for years and years and years now because it used to be an absolute fucking junk pile of a project plane. Um, I remember when it could fly in rain. Um, I remember when it uh, suffocated its pilots. Um, I remember when it couldn't fire its own gun. And then it couldn't carry enough ammunition for the gun that it carried. Um, oh, it's it's just been um, an absolute shit show from wor just word one. Uh, yeah, the F-35 has been a hilarious program to follow for fucking a trillion and a half dollars, by the way. Um, fucking. Oh, my God. Uh, a tanky sighting in the wild. <laughs> DRM bad. You wouldn't download a car. I a hundred percent would download a car. Hundred percent. What else you got that costs you idiots a lot of fucking money that you you rip people off for? Yeah, I'll take all of it. I'll download all of it. Fuck that. Um, yeah, beast. Like you can't, you can't be, you can't be talking about shit like that, man. Oh Jesus Christ! We got more tanky. Like this is a legitimate tanky sighting. This is hilarious. Oh, you know there's Chinese tanks in the street right now because people like want their money, but it's been deemed an investment uh, property. The Henan um, Bank, uh, the Henan branch of the the Bank of China, um, they're they're they've got some uh, <clears throat> financial problems um, that they're dealing with, um, and people wanted their money, and well, it's been deemed um, the people's assets now, and it's an investment property, and they're not allowed to have their money anymore, so the people are in the street. And so the fucking Chinese are rolling tank, rolled tanks out on the street, as is tradition. As is tradition. Authoritarians got an authoritarian after all. Oh please, I've literally watched the video of the tanks roll. That's a media lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a Michael Bay level rendering there. He really cranked that one out. Saw the video of tanks. Surprise! The video got past the sensors. Dude, the uh, Great Firewall of China has a thousand thousand holes in it. It's super permeable. It's super permeable. Fucking Chinese citizens pass through that thing all the time. Any of the digi the tech uh, digitally elite of China, do they walk through the, right through the fucking Great Firewall? It's nothing. It, it's it's only doing the heavy lifting for the masses. Yeah, the 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 technicians in China are like, pfft, whatever. Yeah, if you can navigate the dark web on this side, congratulations, you're technically capable of getting past the the dark uh, the Great Firewall of China. If you were a Chinese citizen that had that level of technical capability, you'd walk right through that fucking firewall. I'm pretty sure that's... Let me just double check. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Z-E-I-H-A-N. Um, let's see. Hey everyone, Peter Zion here, coming to you from North Carolina. I just have a quick one on a leading play today. Let's do. 
Oh, would it be the sustainability forum? That would probably be best. Of pent up renewal. Yeah, the fucking the the sustainability forum be hilarious to watch. So, and so is technically everybody in China. Everybody fucking works for somebody. It's at some sort of analyst level. Can you show me fucking somebody from within China who doesn't have like ties to literally everything by just working for any company? Oh, oh, shit face. Xi Jinping, shit face. Yeah, that guy's fucking hilarious. That's what they call him inside China. Inside China, they call him shit face. Or uh, Adolf Schittler. Um, or um, um, what was the other one? Elementary PhD or something like that? Primary PhD? I think it's primary PhD um, because he didn't finish school. Um, fucking even that good old Asian love for uh, f education comes out, comes back and bites him in the ass. Even even the ruler of the current iteration, right? Big big dick fuck Xi, Xi Jinping. Even the populace is like school. He didn't finish school. He's not a good fucking Chinese ruler. He didn't go to school. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. He didn't finish school. You know, fucking. Um, there, there may or may not have been something about some guy named Mao kicking off. So he may have just been pulled out of school and sent to the fucking countryside. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, he never, he fucking, he eventually got a BA in something. But like, yeah, no, he's, he's even a laughing stock amongst their own people to a certain extent. It's kind of hilarious. Um, how we classify China? State capitalist, mercantilism, or just oligarchy? Some word I don't know. Um, authoritarian, um, well, it's authoritarian state capitalism with ethno-nationalist characteristics, I suppose, would be the way I would go on that one. Because you have to recognize the the Han Chinese racist control, like they have syst the form of systemic racism that exists in China is the the Han people as opposed to like the white people over here. Um, they have just as much racism, if not potentially more. Um, it's more, by the way. Um, but it's yeah, it's the Han people who conduct it over there. Um, so yeah, you have to acknowledge the, the ethno nationalist characteristics of China as well. And definitely oligarchical tendencies as every, uh, uh, every like form of governance tends to take power and money and all of that. We were once oppressed, therefore we can't be the oppressor. You're the white dude in the room that when we're discussing systemic racism starts yelling about how fucking, uh, you know, Irish people once upon a time were slaves. It's like, yes, they were. They were. Congratulations. Welcome to the conversation. Um, you're missing the point entirely, though. But that's traditionally true for most tankies. Most tankies fail to recognize fundamental basic principles within any level of intersectional analysis because you tend to be just straight up authoritarian genocidal maniacs. You stomp down indigenous peoples wherever you go. You eliminate, you homogenize, you may turn everything into bland. It's just your tendencies. It's the ramifications of an ideological system based on the uh, based on force. So I'm not surprised, but the fact that you're arguing that shows that you fail to recognize modern material conditions of the vast majority of the Chinese people. Like you fail to do your own level of analysis here. The Han people of modern China are clearly within an advantageous position within the socio-political economic system of modern day China. That's just the reality of the demographics. It's 
speaking of demographics, their demographics are falling off a fucking cliff. The water table is poisoned. They don't have the people they need. They collapsed their own population because they were so... Oh, God. Westerners lied about China racism. Oh, legitimately, you f may have fucked up more than we did. Like, legitimately, like, there's, there's, like, you're not slowing down. China's not slowing down. I say you're, you're some white person. You're some, like, angry liberal arts white dude or fucking some disaffected uh, young dude who's like, fucking, yeah, this is the solution, dude. <laughs> They're still opening coal plants. They have a whole new plan to push all new coal plants. And you know coal plants are some of the dirtiest fucking things. Not just the f radiation alone. More radiation gets released from a coal plant than any nuclear reactor because they actually shield their radi uh, radiation. Do coal plants are the dirtiest fucking things you can uh, you can put in. And uh, China is uh, ramping up approval for new coal plants. Like they're, they're not only building more, they're speeding it up. Their consumerism is running amok. Their middle class is growing. And if they deny them the fruits of their labor, they will get pissed. And China knows what happens when people get pissed. So they are, they all fucking, they don't give a shit. They do not give a shit. China's just like, fuck it. Build more coal plants. We need the electricity. How many billionaires in their social parliament? Yeah, I don't know. How many? Um, it's, it's, it's a disturbingly large number, isn't it? Um, about a hundred. Um, let's see. Oh, let's get the rate latest count. Do we have? Jesus. A lot of billionaires. <laughs> uh. Let's see. How many? The net worth of 153 members of China's parliament and its advisory body is $650 billion. The net worth of one, this is 153 members of China's parliament, $650 billion. Just a touch below Switzerland's ec annual, uh, annual economic output. Just a smidge. The people's oligarchs. And see, it's the thing. This dummy, this, this, this dummy is like America bad, right? Yes. Yeah. But the same criticisms all go to China as well and Russia and North Korea. And Britain and France, the same criticisms that we're making of America transfer to all of these places. The wealthy, the powerful, the racist, the marginalized, the put upon, the downtrodden, the oppressed. All of these transfer. And the, the, the denial of reality for an everyday occurrence elsewhere in the globe, specifically China for you, because you've got a, a, a Sino fetish, um, is contraindicated it is contrary to your stated position and goal 
you literally argue against your own position every time you open your mouth. It's, it's, it's crazy. The people of China need help too. They're being put upon. Their leaders are exploiting them. Just as we need help, our leaders are exploiting us, right? We need to do. They need to do. We all need to do. The, the, this glorification and fetishization of a flawed concept, an experiment, is it fails to recognize the original even is, is spirit of. But most people fail to understand that. The revolution isn't born of the 1800s. The revolution is born of the moment. It's informed by the history. But when you obsess and you force into and you categorize and you use all that authoritarian might that you dummies always try and use, you inevitably violate your own framework and then you find yourself explaining away genocide you find yourself explaining away why there's no more indigenous people in that region you find yourself explaining away a sexual abuses of regional groups you find yourself explaining away slavery you find yourself explaining away concentration camps you find yourself explain this is this is crazy dog and this this weird obsession with Maybe, I mean, I disagree, but like maybe it was a halfway decent roll of the dice at one time. And this attachment to this brand, this label that like it's, it's failed, man. Dude, neoliberalism won. Neoliberalism won, man. Pay the fuck attention. There's McDonald's in China, man. Like, there's Chinese components in our shit. There's McDonald's in China. Neoliberal globalism won that. Like, they're just, just, get carpe. Stalin's a dead pedo. Come to now. The mines just disappeared one day. No clue what happened. Hmm. Love a I'm a Bhutanese nationalist now. There's no, there's no concentration camps in China. There's none in America either. Oh, what, we call them something different? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. You're right. If there's no concentration camps in China, there's no concentration camps in America either. I get it. Uh, no, no, I didn't. Good luck, Caboose. Good luck, Karina. Oh, okay. Yesterday was, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yesterday was the busiest day for the fire service in London since the Second World War. Normally we get 350 calls, calls a day on a busy day. We get up to 500. Yesterday was the fire service in more than 2,600 calls a day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, yeah. High security vocational educational resorts. Uh, high uh, high security vocational education resorts. <clears throat> Do we say concentration camps? We mean happy camps. <laughs> Homie, I'm a fucking anarchist. I can smell an authoritarian genocidal maniac miles. Miles. H homie. No. No. Like, just no. You're an authoritarian. You believe that you can use systemic force monopolized through a group of people vanguardistically operated and wielded to make people conform to your system. You failed the basics of autonomy. Your system is authoritarian. Your, th your system is authoritarian. Fuck off. We will never agree with you. We will never agree with you. We will never agree with you. You violate basic tenets of what it means to be a human and resort to more animalistic 
tendencies, more baser tendencies. We would like a more evolved ideology. We would like a more evolved set of uh, tools of analysis. We would like a more evolved version of this, but you literally don't even believe in evolution because you probably believe in non-Mendelian genetics and are probably a Lysenkoist because you're so far deep in the hole. You deny reality. You're delusional. You're a part of a cult because you've been marginalized and left behind by a corporate, corrupt, absolutely despotic system. And in that marginalization, in that lack of structure and brotherhood and fraternity, you have languished and you latched onto something and you felt community and it's important to you and you will go to the fucking mat for it. But the fact of the matter is, is what you preach is hate, genocide, and illogical nonsense that has failed multiple times. So cope and move on. Anyway, I'm already coerced to work under capitalism. I'll be damned if I'm going to be work or ordered to work under authoritarian communism. Uh, Oh, there's it. He's a white American. Of course he's a white American. Who would have guessed? Nah, Gemma. Yeah, who would have guessed? He's a white American. No, really? Wow. Shocking. Who didn't know? Corrective approaches. You see the language? You see the language? Corrective approach. Literally chaining people inside their houses. Corrective approach. Um, speaking of crazy, uh, crazy cult members, did y'all, um, did y'all see the Black Hammer shit? Dude, the Black Hammer shit's hilarious. Uh, our little, our little lamb back, uh, motherfuckers. Yeah, they did. They welded door shut. You are correct. Um, our little lamb back motherfuckers got into a, uh, <clears throat> little altercation <laughs> with a SWAT team and a deadly shooting. Um, yeah. Um, so somebody from inside the little compound that they were running fucking called 911 whispering about how they'd been kidnapped by quote an organization and was being held in the garage of the residence. All right. Hours long standoff. Uh, neighbor, uh, neighborhood placed under shelter in place order. Um, They found a body with a uh, self-inflicted gunshot wound. They found, uh, and then Gazi, uh, Augustus Romaine, by the way, Gazi, uh, Gazi Codzo, the, um, the, the, the Joker character, um, for, for, uh, Black Hammer. Yeah. Um, their name is Augustus Romaine, just so you know, um, was arrested on charges of sodomy, two counts of uh, charges of conspiracy to commit felony, false imprisonment, kidnapping, aggravated assault, crim and criminal street gang activity. Uh, Xavier Russian was not, um, but was still charged with 10 other counts, also obstructing uh, as well. Um, to be fair, Black Hammer is claiming that it's a targeted attack by the Fayetteville Police Department. And Gazzy claims that um, their son 
was um, shot by the police. Um, at this point, I it's we've literally no no I can't Busta I can't. Um, as somebody comes with a from a firearms family, my stepfather is a federally licensed firearms dealer. Uh, I've done firearms training classes and courses. It's not that I'm particularly attached to the Second Amendment or the concept of firearms. I, I it's it's like explaining why British people are obsessed with their tea. It's literally a remnant of imperialist conquest and untold levels of exploitation and suffering. And yet, it's a part of a national identity. And most British people would stab a motherfucker if you tried to fuck with their tea. Despite all of it, right? And global shipping and environmental cost in a modern day of the commodification of that. Like, there's a lot of negatives there. But still, right? No, I'm not comparing tea to firearms. But what I'm trying to do is demonstrate when something enters a, a cultural identity portion, it transcends. Firearms aren't just firearms. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, stop going down Fuck it! Oh my god, I'm not... Homie. I'm trying to weave you an, uh, an allegory. I'm trying to weave you an uh, analogy to work with. I literally wasn't even talking about your fucking stabbings. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I don't give a shit. Stop going down dumb fucking alleyways and try and walk with me. Hold my hand if necessary. Guns have become symbolic. They're a part of the actual culture of a good portion of this country. It's that simple. It's that simple. I, it, it, it's, but there's no explaining it past that. There, there's no, if you can't, If you can't wrap your head around it to start with, it's very difficult to wrap your head around it. It's, it's a cultural artifact. It's an element of our society that a portion of our society likes. And it has become synonymous with certain things. Um, and the truth of the matter The Christo fascist who wants to um, enslave women to become brood mares for the state and believes doctors who provide gender affirming health care to doctor, uh, doctors who provide gender affirming health care to trans kids should be hung. Um, and politicians who are putting forth legislation that says women um, should be uh, could be subjected to dog sniffing to see if they're uh, pregnant at an airport. When those people are the ones with all the guns. Now, Busta, now is not the conversation to ha uh, not the time to have the conversation with the rest of America. To set down any weapons because they're not going to they're a hundred percent not going to like not in a thousand years going to like you you get that right like the that segment that we're alluding to dude they ain't laying down those guns so the only people you're talking to at this point are people that you are on the other side of the aisle for a very lot of tenuous positions in this country and the people coming at them are very well armed. So I don't know what kind of fucking Mahatma Gandhi situation you're trying to set up for, for people from abroad. But the fact of the matter is, is that as far as I'm concerned, marginalized communities, LGBT, Lugubrita, uh, the Lugubrita, um people of color, indigenous, they should be armed to the teeth. Embrace your Second Amendment. 
uh, the trans uh, alpaca farm in Colorado that had fucking dudes rolling up on it and in the middle of the night and harassing them and started getting fucking pushy in the middle of the night and trying to creep up on their property. Yeah, all it took was um, flipping the light, the floodlights on them and stand, all, everybody standing out there with fucking AR-15s saying, get off the property or you end up dead. They haven't been back since. Right, the the fucking racist white nationalists in the in the out in the rural areas in the farmland of fucking Colorado harassing a bunch of trans alpaca farmers, and you know what got them to stop? They spoke their language. Oh, and if you're wondering what they uh, they uh, if they could appeal to the sheriff, the local sheriff, when asked about this incident, said, "You know, we've had some complaints about them folk out there at that alpaca farm, but we went out there. They had some complaints of animal abuse, but we went out there and checked it out, and they seem fine. And if they've got a problem with any local residents, we'd recommend they just call us." They had called the uh, sheriff's department for the better part of a couple of months while all of this ramped up the sheriff's department ignored them so if you're proposing busta that that trans alpaca farm out in bumfuck colorado lay down their arms so them fucking nazi white nationalist pieces of garbage who were gonna roll up on them in the middle of the night with a fucking truck full they had two boys in the front and four in the back they were rolling up on them if you're suggesting that they fucking disarm themselves at this point in time, I would suggest that now, historically speaking, is probably not the most advantageous time to have that discussion. And then, in fact, what should happen is that a uh, black trans uh, sex worker in the inner city probably needs to embrace their Second Amendment rights. Because the truth of the matter is, is they are one of the most vulnerable groups in the, uh, in the world. And given their uh, rape and murder numbers, well then... It looks like the police aren't protecting them, are they? Because, Busta, this is a fucking actual war zone over here. Because it is. It's an actual fucking war zone at this point over here. My entire life, dude, in my life, I've had fucking bombings of abortion clinics, doc abortion doctors shot in their own, in the rectory of their own church, Busta. I've had gay, uh, gay men beaten and strung up in, on fences in the middle of the field and left to die and die he did. I've had nightclubs full of us shot up dead. I've had a plague wreak havoc through my people and an administration laugh and ro uh, and rub their hands with glee while all of the queers died in mass i've i've witnessed genocide of my people i've witnessed constant harassment and violent altercations with and i've seen it perpetrated and excused and facilitated by the power structure and the policing system therein and I've seen it perpetrated against people of color, indigenous people, women, anybody who is lesser than in a power dynamic within our system. I've seen it my entire life. And you're going to have a fucking conversation with me and say, why are Americans obsessed with guns? Because the fact of the matter is, is that all the hate and crazy and theocratic and oligarchical nonsense that has shaken this fucking country to its core from its very beginning is armed to the bloody teeth. And it's my ass that has to protect my ass. You have the privilege. You have the nicety of living in a society in which you can occasionally, <clears throat> when the Met isn't raping 14-year-olds in, in, uh, in schools or, you know, profiling black people, you live in a society in which the worst that could happen is probably a stabbing or an acid splashing in your face. Whereas the difference here is before the fucking police, if the police respond, if if they respond before the police respond, the dude who's handling business could fucking handle the business to the tune of you and your entire, your entire family.
So America is an entirely different beast and you can talk, you can talk big minded strategies all you want, but to have the conversation with somebody who's in a marginalized group on the ground, as we speak, you might as well tell a Ukrainian soldier to give up his fucking rifle. What are you doing? That's completely irresponsible. You want to have that conversation? Go talk to a fucking right wing space. See how that goes, by the way. But that's who needs to be talked down. It's the fucking Christo fascists. At this point in time, they're armed to the teeth. I'm going to tell the tra uh, the LGBT community at large and all those marginalized indigenous and people of color. Second Amendment counts for you too, by the way. They're going to hassle you. They're going to fucking hassle you. But it counts for you too. What are you going to do about it? Fucking you got a time machine, Busta? Fucking Britain still got a... Britain's three seconds away from imploding. The UK is a fucking shit show and a half and you know it. And you're how old? Oh, that's right. Rome created you. Right? Like, dude, homie, we're all fucked up. Humanity's fucked up. Don't get nation states twisted. Don't get all fucking nationalistic. What is it about Americans? What is it about humans that give in to pride and greed over and over again? Didn't you just have a bojo issue that you need you contended with? That guy's a walking sociopath and y'all fucking put him up. Right? Like, it's a human thing, homie. Don't get it twisted. Ours just has American aesthetics. Bhutan never did. Uh UK really can't act a lead anymore. No, they really can't, dude. They're just, dude, they're acting like Arkansas over there. Um, Kayla, what is it with my fellow Brits and being blindly nationalistic? Because they are British! The last patriotic dregs. It's cake, it's, it's baked in. <laughs> hey, okay, Valen. My former colony is immature, says the former colony of the Roman Empire, says Brick. <laughs> and I love this. The, the Sikkimese, Tibetan, Burmese woman literally carrying a British man on her back in West Bengal, India, 1900. This is great. <laughs> we, we settled this land. You were carried on the backs of women literally oh oh is it fake not a french colonial wait 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 hang on this is the most fucking like Absolute worst, like, takedown of fake history, though. Like, <sighs> the explanation is so unsatisfying. Oof. The photos of colonial carrying, though, are rough. Like, apparently, that's a not a legitimate example of a colonial carry, but there are plenty of examples of colonial carry. Ah, don't worry, Jackie. Yeah, left for Karen. That's literally it. It's like not this specific picture. I love th I love this this dude by the way. You know like dude, look at him.
He's happy to be there. So, that specific image, not an example of colonial carry, um, that was, uh, you know, yeah. That was that specific image, not an example of colonial carry, but definitely plenty of examples of colonial carry. Uh, you're totally not slaves. <laughs> uh, it's just, dude, it's. What is this? Rough Roman means? Uh. Is this, hold on, let me just open this whole thing. <laughs> oh my God, Cassius Dio. And strangest of all, they're able to endure hunger and cold or any kind of hardship by plunging into the swamps where they exist for many days with only their heads above water. Julius Caesar on the ancient British. They're the most ignorant people I've ever conquered. Tilius Cicero on the ancient British. They cannot be taught to read and are the ugliest and most stupid race I ever saw. <laughs> Old school Roman racism towards the British. That's hilarious. Uh... Fucking... <coughs> Let's see. Just hold still for four to five minutes, holding my carriage. I know, right, Aspen? It's the fucking... That's my history. Fuck. <laughs> I guess that's the thing. Is like the, the amount of progress. It's like, we're young, but homie, we went to the moon. <laughs> America's fucking young as shit. You're right. We got a lot of fucking problems, and I don't think America's going to survive. Don't worry. We're already balkanizing. But, like... It took like a thousand years and you you still got like when British people come at Americans with that like look at wacky America it's like you know we're U2.0 and like we're all the goofball versions of you like all the criminal huckster philo philosophically bankrupt religiously extreme psychopaths washed up on these shores and you're like look at them get a load of america it's like what'd you expect was gonna happen you created a fucking melting pot of crazy and then let it loose on the world and then blame us well guess what daddy england this one's your fault too just like everything else in this world is <laughs> <laughs> uh, our food is better our art is better our sex is better that's all I care about dude it is actually better yeah 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 and we bought our museums for the most part except for the indigenous stuff the indigenous stuff we stole old school like you taught us dad um, but you know we bought most of our museum stuff on like the British Empire <laughs> <laughs> only reason the pyramid of giza is still in egypt is they couldn't figure out how to get it back <laughs> it was a logistics problem not a not a problem of will <laughs> Britain's, britain's just like fuck we can't figure out how to get it back they would have done it they had plans to do it they would have done it <laughs> oh britain <laughs> oh i love you guys i really do but we're broken uh america's broken fundamentally um and it, it, it was founded broken it's intentionally broken it's maintained broken um uh, this shit is running as intended um and i you know yeah the Br british government has the best physicists working on it <laughs> um yeah, it, it just is what it is at this point. Um, and so, the yeah, I, I actually do believe it is irresponsible to have a conversation about, like, disarmament 
of American people at this point in time because the fact of the matter is, <laughs> yes, Sonia. So the War of Independence is the equivalent of a teenager yelling, "I hate you!" Your parents, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But we actually walked out. That's that's Sonia. Like we're we're the fucking the kid who was like, "I fucking hate it here," and we hopped in our van and we just fucking we we you know. We ended up in Mexico for a while, you know, we did some peyote, we did some shrooms, we met a guy who had some wacky stuff, and we, you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we actually, like, ran out into our van and, like, left, whereas Canada and Australia both yelled, I hate you, to their parents, but they slammed their door, and they stayed, that's the difference. We succeeded in Hollywood. We actually did the emancipation paperwork. We succeeded in Hollywood, too. We hopped in our van and immediately held our gun to our own head for several centuries straight. <laughs> no, no brick. Occasionally, we hold that gun to brown, black, women, indigenous people, queer people, people who have any resources that we want and or need. And anything that gets in our way. People's heads. So when we're not doing that stuff, we're holding it to our own head. <laughs> we have eight arms with a gun in each. Yeah, that sounds about fair. We use the gun to eat, too. This is one of those things, which is like, you know, yeah. We left our abusive spouse in order to elope with a different abusive spouse. Um, so we can the Canadian. We still haven't moved out. We're good boys. Uh, baby, I'm past the train tracks. I'm not coming back. My life's turned upside down. Yeah, and, and New Zealand basically is that kid who basically tried to hang on to mom's skirt until mom went, nah, you're 40, time to move out. Uh, didn't bayonets start out as table knives? I, honestly, probably, Gemma. I don't know the answer for sure on that one, but that's the kind of stupid shit that humanity gets up to historically, right? Fucking... You know, this thing is great, but how could I use it to kill people with? Happy to sacrifice other people to common good. How noble. Um, take care, Busta. I need water. And I needed to move, apparently, because my legs were getting fucking whatever. Oh. All right. Let me leave you with some pat, at least. Um, oh, you know what? Here, share, uh, start there, copy, let's do that. Came to this, oh man, with a, uh, I'm, I'm losing my voice, it's, it's going to be hard for me to find the key, I'm sorry, let's see. Came to, came to this world a loaded handgun, firing at random, hit the people who were closest, not the ones who deserve.
now it's just on closer to my actual life, which involves things like trying to keep my clothes clean and other <laughs> very menial tasks. <laughs> He's a Buddhist now, and he works in uh, in IT. That's what Pat's doing these days. Pat is he's left it all behind for his own good. Um, but yeah, he's a he's a Buddhist IT worker now. That's what Pat's up to. A lot of this isn't too serious. I have a question: How much is there in the idea of surviving as resistance? Like, how much does it hurt the status quo, status quo, uh, slash, uh, status quo, slash, uh, status quo by just trying to survive? Sometimes it feels me just an easy cop out to have to do less. And sometimes it makes sense. Um, I suppose it depends on which position you take, Walata, as to what level of aggressiveness you believe the system is attempting to use towards you. If you believe that the system is actually attempting to exterminate you, then yes, surviving is resistance. If you believe that the system is uh, simply uh, set out to exploit you, then you have less justification for that, and that's where you uh, end up feeling that it may just be a cop-out to do less. So, so it depends on what your position is as to the nature of the relationship between you and that system. Marcus, decentralized topologies, distributed networks. That's, it would have, it was, 
it was natural. We, we speak the language. We speak the same language. Anarchists and certain IT folk, especially the NetSec crowd, um, they speak the same language. So it was an easy match. Oh God, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, let's see. Hey, look! Viral clip shows Met police officers punching falsely accused black man as friends beg them to stop. Oh, Dad! I learned it from you, Dad. Y'all want to see a crazy um, study that exists? Violence, trauma, mental health, and substance use among homeless, homeless youth juggalos. Um, in the sample, <clears throat> 495, by the way, homeless youth. In the sample, 15% of homeless youth identified as juggalos. Um, yeah. Marcus, I've recently come into a conversation about um, <clears throat> some of the ins and outs and nuances of juggalo culture, subculture, they're kind of based in a few ways. And I see how it could be an easy refuge for a whole group of people. Um, it makes sense. I mean... Yeah. Um, ooh, I need that to back up, actually. Thank you. Who wouldn't want a sense of belonging? I know, right? Yeah, public. We talking juggalos. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Protective in-group care. So well put. Um, yeah. Yeah, apparently they take care of each other pretty pretty strongly. <laughs> Public, I, I, I don't. The aesthetic is lost on me. The aesthetic is lost on me. I, I will be first... But we watched an ICP movie last week. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I haven't raved about this movie enough. This is stupid. This is stupid. There's an ICP uh, 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 movie. There's an ICP spoof western movie. It's a com of course, it's a, it's a comedy. But it's called Big Money Rustlas. R-U-S-T-L-A-S. Big Money Rustlas. It's legitimately a good movie. It's funny. It's witty. It's intelligently written. It, despite it being dumb comedy, it's it, it, Crimson. So fucking good. It's so fucking good. It's ridiculous. This movie is dumb. It, you, 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 dude. It's an ICP movie, and they're in it. They're in makeup in in the West. In, in like in the Paramount, it was, you asked me, it was stupid good. It has toilet humor, too, humor too. It, in the, like the, the Paramount ranch fucking fake Western town, right? And there's, dude, dude, they're in make, in, they're in their ICP, like the, the ICP guys are in makeup. <clears throat> And when the mom, oh my God, the mom, oh my God, like th this movie is legitimately witty. It is legitimately funny. It is legitimately well paced, well edited. There's no like continuity errors. Cause trust me, we were looking cause it's on our bingo cards. Legitimately the ICP 
the the western spoof comedy parody movie written and starring like starring by icp is fucking brilliant it's great seth mcfarland's million ways to die in the west but better done correctly it's the seth mcfarland movie but done correctly it's the craziest shit icp is surprisingly based yeah from what i've heard carpe like they they are surprisingly based um it's my top three from bad movie nights is crimson i got too many i got too many in there that like deserve attention the astrologer any of the brain stuff i mean brain just occupies category one but like then then there's like the astrologer and then you have like your your classic scenes troll Two, the fucking the corn oh my god the corn in in, in troll Two. um like yeah no i mean god's not dead dude god's not dead one is great it's a fucking brilliant piece of propaganda there's so there's so many the the oh my god the the skater the the Nazi skater uh, uh the Nazi rollerblading gang from the 90s that was also like a slightly it was a post-apocalyptic Nazi roller gang movie from the 90s with um Corey Haim in it yeah Birdemic um yes yeah, Six String Samurai Oh, public. It's a um, God's not dead is great. It's a brilliant piece of propaganda. You legitimately hate the people you they want you to hate. You're like these characters are awful. Fuck these people. You're like, oh my god, I'm on the side of the side of the theocrats. Like, yeah, they do. They legitimately do a good job of making you hate the people you're supposed to hate. You're like, ugh, God, fuck this guy. Carpe, I like Six String Samurai. It's goofy. Yeah, Six String's good. We haven't done brains since I started Bad New Night. Top three is always up for change or expansion. Dude, Crimson, we need to do um Buckaroo. We've already watched Buckaroo Bands uh on um, Bonsai, Rev. We watched it. It's just not one of my tops. But yeah, we've watched that one. Uh Nazi surfer punks, right? There's Nazi surfers, but there's also Nazi um skaters. Remember the Corey Haim one was uh, rollerbladers, and then there was the uh, the uh, Nazi punks must die one, or whatever the fuck Nazi surfers must die one with the uh, black grandma who's the protagonist that starts killing motherfuckers. Yeah, they're two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, we have watched Poultrygeist as well. Um, is Poultrygeist? We've I have Poultrygeist and Thanks Killing. Is Thanks Killing the one with the um, the rubber puppet rape uh, uh, rape scene? Because if it's if Thanks Killing has the rubber puppet rape scene, uh, the rubber like the the turkey rape scene, um, then Thanks Killing is my favorite out of those two. If it's Poultrygeist, it's Poultrygeist is my favorite. It's it's basically what I'm saying saying is that the turkey puppet rape scene is like the deciding factor for me out of which one of those is my favorite. Um, nice beast. I don't remember that in Poultry Guys. Okay, so that's Thanks Killing. Um, so yeah, th I prefer Thanks Killing out of those two. Um, Birdemic is a classic. I don't think Birdemic Two brings the same joie de vivre, uh, to to the the, the plate that um that Birdemic One brought. Uh, I've never seen the thanks killing. I'll check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robo, fucking. Do we have bad movie night every Friday on the Discord server? That's why we we we're 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 in deep at this point. We're in deep. Like there there's a, occasionally somebody comes through with some like recommendations that we're like, oh yes, fresh material. Like legitimately, that that shit stands out. We're we're deep in it at this point. Like we we have we have community lore <laughs> built around fucking bad movie night at this point yeah yeah so i mean you're always welcome um fucking yeah trying to wonder what my abilities are uh, 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 huh. oh and for anyone who uh, likes thoughtful sci-fi i watched the uk version of humans recently definitely worth a, uh, or worth a look says gemma um what am I about to get into? Um, uh, Paul Gasari. Uh, we, Paul Gasari. Uh, for those of you who don't know Paul Gasari, um, how old is Bad Movie Night? Um, I can date it. You know what? I can date it. I can date it. I can date it. Um,
it's June. It's over a year old. It's 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 about 13 months old. Bad movie night's about 13 months old. Uh Polga um Polgasari is the North Korean movie. It's one of the movies made by uh, by Kim Jong uh, Il, um, and it's the director he kidnapped, infamously. Polgasari is a um, monster flick, a la Godzilla, um, but it's made by um, a hostage director and his wife, as held by Kim Jong Il. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a weird flick. Weird flick. Um, oh. Gemma, conversation we may have to have one day, basically. Uh, Pogasari is also one of your top three. Um, yeah. I, I, there's just, just, just too many at this point. I mean, Breen just occupies the slot. Um, but like, I mean, dude, uh, Ankle Biters was funny. Um, dude, that 2025, the world enslaved by a virus shit that was part of the, like the Christian propaganda night we did. That was fucking crazy as shit. Um, dude, the Alice in Wonderland porno we watched. That was, it's an X rated Alice in Wonderland musical porn. Um, and it's 1976 or 74 or something like that. That's crazy as fuck. Um, fucking not a good movie either um anaconda's hilarious um do battleship in its own way right um blood sport van damme's corny as shit cool as ice the vanilla ice movie cool cat saves the kids um deep blue sea dear god um fucking let's see Oh, that one I can't say on air. And if you know what I'm talking about, you already know what I'm talking about. I, there's one movie title that we have that cannot be said on air. Shakes, thanks for the follow. God's Not Dead and then all of its sequels. Hackers. Oh my God, Hackers is such a bad fucking good movie. Um, jiu Jitsu, the movie with barely any Jiu Jitsu in it. Uh, Killer Clowns, always a classic. <laughs> fucking Morbius. Uh, <laughs> Maximum Overdrive. Oh my god. No Retreat, No Surrender. That was a good one. Psycho Gorman in its own way, but mm, doesn't register for me all the way. Raw Force is crazy as shit. Ricky O. Um, fucking that Robo Geisha shit's batshit insane too. Um, Six String. Stakes on a Plane is bad. Um, Super Mario Brothers redeems itself in age. Um, the astrologer, of course. Shout out to the astrologer. Devil Sword, fucking Velocipaster. Um, of course, Troll Two. Tokyo Gore Police. If you're into that shit, um, <laughs> who killed Captain Alex? Shout out, fucking Zardoz. Roadhouse. Yes. Oh, uh, Under Siege, the Steven Seagal one. Yeah, we did Under Siege. Classic jingoistic era. Dude, we, we, yeah, the like the, the, the era of the bad jingoistic American films. They just start cranking out. Yeah, it's fucking great. You need to watch Robo Geisha? Yeah, it's a good one. What's the pirate movie that was a huge flop with Gina Davis? I don't know. Cutthroat Island. Let's see. Cutthroat Island. Yeah. I bought it when uh, I bought it when it was brought over here. I've never seen it. I I had a copy, probably t uh, still sealed over ten years old. Jesus, public. Leave it. Leave it closed. Just download a copy. Is this leeches? I know about this. I don't think I've seen it. Papa, let's see. You know what, though? We'll put it on the fucking list. We always need content for bad movie night. We always need content for bad movie night. So fucking putting that in there, too. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's got it's got college age swimmers. It's got it's got college age swimmers. Um <clears throat> in speedos. Yes. Never mind. Leeches just went to the top of the movie list, apparently. Uh <laughs> Um, you have three seasons of Red versus Blue on DVD. Let's see. She did all her own stunts. Good honor. I know you said you don't watch the Thoughts Line political stuff, but they have a whole channel dedicated to horror movie reviews, and some of them are just bonkers. Um, it's been years since I saw Night of the Comet. Jesus Christ, we haven't watched it for Bad Movie Night. Um, but yeah. God, it's been years since I saw Night of the Comet. It's just on YouTube. It's literally just on YouTube. Yeah. Ninety-nine percent of my zombie movies are terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, we're gonna have to do um, we're gonna have to do a a, a Neil Breen. Like run again. Uh, we'll have to make another run at it. If we got people in fucking bad movie night that haven't seen Breen still, like that's a disservice that we're doing. So like we need to work on that. We may we may do another run at uh, a, a Breen spree. Oh, t December. I don't know if I can wait for December, Beast. Um, oh, all must be breened. Breen screen. That's what we call his fucking green screen. His breen screen. We also need breen peen. He needs to fucking drop breen peen on screen. We need to see the breen peen in front of the breen screen. It's just the only way. If you've only seen Fateful Findings, dude. I haven't seen Breen yet, dude. Aspen broken. Yeah. Okay. So we got a few. We got a couple few people that need to see Breen. We'll we'll revisit that then. Yeah. Give me Breen Peen. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a whole fucking. It's a whole thing. Um. Nice beast. Nice. Um. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. I don't want to just ditch out. Hey, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend himself. That's Neil Breen. Fucking. Oh, yes. It all must be indoctrinated into the world of Neil Breen. Presumably, it's full of tuna right now, dude. How much tuna did Neil Breen eat? Here's my question. I, this is legitimately a question. Does he still eat tuna? Did he like completely like ruin himself for tuna? Um, oh shit, like that's a whole bunch of fucking sauce. All right, um, does he eat tuna anymore? If he does, during COVID lockdown, how much tuna did he eat? Two part question, Mr. Brain. Yeah, because I, I could see him being like, I'm never eating another goddamn piece of tuna in my life after that movie. Uh, it easily could be a, the thing. Uh, Aspen, are you done with dad duty? You want to play? <clears throat> Caboose isn't here right now. He's off at D and D. Any of you fuckers play Zomboid? Which of you fuckers plays Zomboid? Um, I wonder if he feels about tuna the way I feel about chicken ramen. Never again. Yeah, no, that's my question. Is I, th I could easily see him being burned out. I could easily see him being burned out. Just recently we'll be able to do PB&J after a 10-year hiatus because it broke, newly moved out me. I did officially open Zomboid once this public. Look at you, public. I bet he's one of those people that could just gorge themselves on tuna. I bet he eats it all the time. Oh, Crimson, you have no idea. Night, Puka. We swapped early this week. All right, Aspen. Duly noted. Um. All right, then. 
That would actually give me time to fuck it. Uh, let's move us. And don't worry, I'm not playing a game yet. I'm just fucking moving us around. Done. I mean, I wait, wait, how is that out of nowhere? Like, I have no clue what Taipei is. Like, Taipei is in Taipei City. Cap Taipei is the capital of Taiwan. But it's one word. So I don't know what separated out to two like that. I don't know if that's something else. But, yeah, Taipei is traditionally transliterated into just a single word. Um, Maybe a type of noodle. I don't fucking know. Um, some people never reach that point. They say liking X would almost say it's a Stockholm syndrome until I realize where it comes from. Um, yeah, it's just you honestly got really tired of bread in general. Just shitty bread or like, just like that's the thing. Like, could you supplement it? Like where you just burned out on bad white bread, sliced white bread. Uh, dig. Cause if that's the case, then yeah, I get it. Um, also I kind of, there we go. Where is my thingy? There's my thingy. I lost my thingy, guys. All right. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Will Alexander with a chunk. <clears throat> Have you ever seen this guy really blown up? Andrew Tate's. Everyone talks about him now. He's the guy who founded Windows, I believe. He always talks about being a real man and starting a popular OS. I have mixed feelings about the guy. Some of what he says is definitely nonsense. On the other hand, I do use his OS, so what can I say? He says he's rich, and this is probably true. I think he's probably a better lad than Elton John. At least his wealth is legit, you know. Exactly. How you doing, Will Alexander? You doing okay? Um... I don't understand how people eat white bread. Like, even my basic bitch bread is at least sourdough, says Marcus. It's good for kids, I guess. Like, fucking, you know. Your your taste buds are more sensitive as a child. Like, that's definitely a thing. Um, but, yeah, I, I understand. Um, there's something, too, something cheap, though. Like, super cheap white br sliced white bread, American cheese, mayonnaise, and leftover turkey from Thanksgiving dinner. Um, is just a, is a, like a middle of the night f in Florida visiting the, the, the grandparents sort of memory burned into my, my psyche. Got punk. That's a good sandwich. Yeah. It, it just, so there is something to be said about that. Um, if I still ate bread in that capacity, it would just be, you know. Some form of artisanal handled bread. This is what it is. Um, oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't make, I don't eat any fucking your most people eat far more um how do I put this industrial food than I do Yeah There's a few farms out there still but even the even the farmer even the rural folk having lived in rural Vermont even the rural folk bring a fair amount of processed in I do a lot of fucking scratch work. A lot of scratch work. Caveman Kai. I, you know, I want to get to the point where I can get back to, to like, hunting. So I can start 
handling that side of it as well. I'll still, oh no, I'm not pale. If I, I use grains and shit like that. It just has to be, you know, proper. Um, yeah, I want to be able to like get my own meat too again. I want at least a couple of deer a season if I can pull that. <clears throat> And a nice white uh, white bread from a local bakery today with some nice tomatoes and onions. Good lunch. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I. I. I'm. I probably still continue to get bison on the regular, seeing as bison seems to be fairly low reactivity with my immune system. Um. Are there deer in the desert? There are actually. Um, there are desert deer. Um, that is actually a thing. Um, oops. Here is a desert mule deer. Oh, yeah. And I mean, the feral hog problem alone is, I mean, you know, the javelinas were already here, but the, the, the feral pro hog problem is slowly making its way north. So. <clears throat> oh, a lot of. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to get back to the point where I can process my own meat in batch. Um. There've been curfews in Rome over boar hordes. Yeah, no, I mean, feral hogs are a fucking angry beast. I wouldn't fuck with them, hundred <clears throat> uh, percent. Cast the hog problem here is bad, dude. That's another reason that, like, I'm sorry. Like, if you live in rural country, I'm I'm not giving up my gun. I'm not giving up my gun. And when I say gun, then fucking just pluralize that. Right? Like, between mountain lions and bears and fucking wild f hogs and turkeys. Turkeys are fucking aggressive as shit. Fucking, dude, walking around the fucking forests of, like, New England and stuff, turkeys will fuck up your day. I, I will put a fucking turkey in the ground, no problem. Fuck those th angry little bastards. And there's there's millions of them. There's millions of them. You're fine. You're fine. They're not going anywhere. We have more tur wild turkeys now than we did when this country was uh, settled by the colonialists. Like when they showed up, indigenous populations, right? They had less turkeys than we have now. You're fine. Turkeys are an angry bunch of little fuckers and there's so many of them. Are they worse than geese? Though? No, geese are the worst. Geese are absolute monsters. They know they were dinosaurs and they're pissed. No, geese are monsters. Oh, I know, dude. Um, dude, I know Cody Shody. Fucking, yeah. That's that's those. Uh, <clears throat> geese are assholes. They are. Uh, in one-on-one -on -one combat, either of us, uh, either one of us, could take on a turkey. Uh, <laughs> turkeys are stupid. Geese are smart and assholes. Never had wild turkey. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fucking dude. Just deer. Deer are fucking dumb as shit. They're basically large rodents. You know that, right? Like they're just um, deer are fucking obnoxious. They make the worst fucking noise too. It's like, <laughs> and fucking dude. Deer would make the worst goddamn noise. And they're just basically rats with hooves. They got ticks on them. They carry disease. It's fucking, I'm just telling you, like, don't get attached to Bambi. Fuck Bambi. Fuck Bambi. Um, that's an insult to rodents. It is, basically. Dude, fucking rats. Pet rats are way more intelligent than a deer. 
way more intelligent. Pet rats are way more intelligent than a deer. All right, let's go hit the list. Rat, cat, goose, medium-sized dog, eagle, large dog, chimpanzee, king cobra, kanga uh, kangaroo, wolf, crocodile 12% think they could take down a wolf. Do you know how big a wolf is? Crocodile 9% think they could do a crocodile. Those are all Floridians. Those are all Floridians and people who've watched the Discovery Channel. 8% uh, think they could take a gorilla. Jeez, in, in fisticuffs. Fighting. F f f just, just, just straight up. A decent shot against a gorilla. 8% think they could beat an elephant to death. This is, this is the, this is the, eight, this is it. Right here, right here. This is... This is this is the problem with America. This is the problem with America. Right here. You want to know? Right here. Eight percent of Americans think they could they have a decent chance to beat a gorilla, elephant, lion, or grizzly bear to death with their own hands. Like they they think that they could fucking they they got a decent shot a, a decent shot. Six percent for the grizzly bear, but it fucking Jesus Christ! If you think take a chimp, you get a Darwin Award. Yeah, this is a problem in America right there. Fucking wolf, Jesus Christ! Got a, not not even this half wolf shit. Give me a real wolf. Home of the brave, land of the brain damaged. Robo, probably because they're afraid of a rat. They're like, I ain't fucking touching it. Yeah, that's 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 my only guess about the rat. Is like, they're like, I'm not touching a fucking rat. 69% think they could beat up a fucking hippo. No one says you have to punt. Amazing! Bad Carpe. Bad. <laughs> no fucking the hippo. Uh, if anyone wants the full animal list and the results, Jesus Christ, of course. No, I don't accept any of your bullshit. This is just... Oh, God, there's a... F there you go. Yeah, no, 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 uh, Gemma, I do believe they are the most deadly animal in Africa. Hippos are psychotic. Whoa, I was talking about kicking the rat. <laughs> Carpe, look at me, I'm wearing the rat. I'm still internally chuckling at Caboose's timeout last night. I'm still, I, I still think it was funny. It was good. Literally the most dangerous animal. Nope. Well, yeah. Dude, hippos. Hippos are fucking. Dude, um, um, bang, uh, the tigers in the Sunterlands. Right? Tigers, the tigers in the Sinterlands. Dude, that fucking, that's crazy dog shit in India. 200,000 since like the 80s or some shit. Like real numbers. Like real fucking numbers. Like, it's like what? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the tigers down in the Sinterlands, like they, um, they, uh, like the British explorers never like like purged the apex predators in the region because of all the like malaria and swamps 
And so as a result, like there's still man eaters down there, like for real man eaters. And so, yeah, no, dude, there's some crazy statistics about tiger attacks within the Sunderland region of India and then the southern tip. All those fucking swamps down there and shit. It's like, holy fuck. It's legitimately dangerous. Welcome back, Aspen. When someone died in ancient Egypt, Marcus, your classics education, when someone died a violent and unfortunate death, they said the person was carried off in the mouth of a hippo. Oof. Tigers remember. They get revenge. Don't fuck with tigers. Their mama told them about you. Yep. Yeah, how the fuck? How did fucking... What What dumbassery led to us calling lions the king of the jungle? They're in the savannah. They don't even operate in the jungle. Like, how... Does anybody have how that happened? How, who who did that to us? What, what fucking Disney story or some bullshit? Who has a... Does anybody know that that story? Joe immediately, I blame Disney. Dude, I, that's my instinct too, Joe. I'm like, this feels like some Disney shit, right? Like the fucking lemmings. Lemmings run off a cliff. No, they don't. They only run off a cliff if you herd them off a cliff. Fucking Disney. Tigers have a better roar? They do. Is it the Jungle Book? Is it the Jungle Book? <laughs> uh... I can only think of Lion King, which did have a jungle scene, but out of place. Yeah, no, that phrase existed long before Lion King. Fucking. <laughs> My guess is white people don't know the difference between a jungle and a savanna. Oh, God. Red is probably correct. There are stories of tigers tracking people who shot them and waiting for days for just the right time to attack them and eat them completely. Yep. Oh, jeez. Viva. My mama said, damn alligator angry because they have so many teeth but no toothbrush. It was a song about a real king, can't remember which one, and stupid Europeans thought that the name wasn't an actual animal. Yeah, that feels right. Why is the lion referred to as the king of the jungle when it lives in open country? The guardian. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so somebody might have. All right. Paste and go. There we go. <clears throat> they didn't know what it meant. They didn't know. They didn't speak Hindi. It's white people who didn't speak Hindi. It's that simple. Jungle is a word in Hindi meaning not an inhabited place. The word covers forest, wilderness, wold, waste, even the world without human structures. The emphasis is on the emptiness. So much of what is called jungle in India is steppe or nearly desert. So the confusion is around the jungle is derived from Hindi and the Sanskrit words. And there's, you know, blah, 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 blah. White people don't speak local language 101 fucking shit again. <clears throat> Can we watch what for BMN uh, Beast? Uh, Jungle Book or some shit like that? Jungle does not equal trees. Got it. I love when the answer is white people stupid. Yeah, right? TIL. TIL. Now we know why the lion is called the king of the jungles because uh, white people don't know what jungle means, including us. Lions are the kings of Paducah. <laughs> we just made that one up. That one's like kind of the inverse. We're like, this is, we'll just make up an indigenous word name. <laughs> oh. Oh, in jungle, we didn't know what the indigenous word meant. And in Paducah, we just made up an indigenous word that didn't exist. Oh, aren't we, aren't we grand? <laughs> to be fair, trees don't even exist. Exactly, Red. No, except for the silicon ones. Lions are pimps of Africa. They don't work. The girls do. Oh, God. 
something something tells me, uh, but you're not wrong. But yeah, Kai, does Waterboy count for a bad, uh, bad movie night? Can we have a Sandler night? Okay, so here's here's where unfortunately I have to suck it up and live by my own principles. I would hate an Adam Sandler night, but I'm okay with doing one. So I will not vote against, but I will be abstaining that vote because he, I, he, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I cannot tell you how many times growing up in Eastern Pennsylvania, I found out everything was like, yeah, we named it after a word from the tribe. We genocided. It means, but where whitey. Yep. Marcus happens a lot. <coughs> but as rabbit taught us the other night, Baduka isn't actually an indigenous word. It's made up white people shit. The original town of Paducah, Kentucky, when the uh, natives were there was called Peckin. Um, the, the people, the, the settlers of what would become Paducah, Kentucky, um, made up a fake, um, chieftain, a fake chief, and followers of that chief called Paducas, and then named this town after him. You know, the town that used to be called Peckin by the people who, you know, actually founded that location, or at least, you know, settled it as humans so do. Um, <laughs> it's fucking great. They're just like, yeah, there was this chief. He was great. He was grand. He had warriors. They were called Paducas. Fucking, yeah. White people just straight up fucking just made some shit up. They're like, and the whole time, there's like some indigenous sh people sitting there, basically. Like, they're like, I will call this, this, I will call this town Paducah after the grand native chieftain and his follow, uh, his uh, loyal followers, the, the Paducas. And there's literally some indigenous folks sitting there listening to this white man rattle off. They're like, it's called Peckin, and there's no dude named that. I'm the chief, and I'm like right here. What's up? And they're like, yes, the grand chieftain Paducah. And you're like, what the fuck? This dude's crazy as shit. We'll do that. <laughs> also, it's so confusing how white people became the powerhouse. Oh. Happenstance, really, at this point. A lot of shenaniganry and happenstance. A lot of shenaniganry and happenstance. That's, that's what I have to tell you. Moose were actually called elk by natives, and elk had their own name. Of course they did. Sounds about right. I mean, it's it, it, Ellis Island syndrome's a real thing. Dude, people would wash up on these shores with some, like, native Czech name or some shit like that, some Polish name, and they'd be like, you know, at Ellis Island, they'd be like, who's, you know, what's your name? And they'd say some shit, and they'd be like, well, this is your name now. Like, fucking, they would just straight rename people that they couldn't fucking, like, mm, don't know what that is. Like, that happened. Fucking, it was just, boom, whatever, gone. New identity. For some people, that worked out well. For others, it was a bit of a little smack in the face. And John Smith. Some got renamed. Others renamed themselves. Yeah. Uh, we didn't change the saying here in Germany. We use Honolulu, Mississippi, which is just wrong. Honolulu isn't even Mississippi. And also, Honolulu is not even a redneck place. I mean, it kind of is, Viva. Hawaii. Okay, so Honolulu isn't redneck from what I understand. But when you get out to, like, the Leeward Islands, right, like Kauai and shit like that, there's, like, a billion chickens on Kauai. You know that, right? Like, that's a whole thing. Like, somebody, like, knocked over a fucking chicken coop, apparently, a bunch of years back. And there's just fucking chickens, like 
all over Kauai. Like it's and there's meth there, right? There's there's feral roaming chickens, there's rutted dirt tracks, pickup trucks, and meth. Like I'm just saying, it's a little rednecky. It's a little redne- rednecky. They're not. They're not entirely dissimilar. Let's just put it that way. They got some qualities. Uh, they so they grow some of the best coffee on Kauai. <laughs> um, yeah, from what I understand, yeah, that is very coveted coffee, isn't it? Wait, are we talking about Arkansas? I got distracted for a minute. Says Rev. Hit Papa John. That's certified redneck. <laughs> like, uh, the locals are fun and kind of anarchistic, minus the racial stuff. Yeah, it's just they're a little rednecky. That's all. Let's well, just be honest about it. You know. There are elements of Hawaii that definitely share. Qua- there's there's overlap. There's overlap, and I, I I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You know, I think that's good overlap to have sometimes. Did uh, good old boys in the deep south, crazy Russians, um, fucking wacky Australians. Um, you know, yeah, I like these people. I like these people. They're dangerous if you let them like gather in too too large of groups but there yeah, there's some areas of this world that still produces top end like the good kind of crazy you know that's like what happens if we strap a fucking rocket to it what yeah let's strap a rocket to it how much how much fucking horsepower can i put under this hood you know the right kind of crazy that you're just like oh we're doing this huh yeah, yeah we're doing this the fucking what happens if I tie a rope off on the top of these two buildings and fucking jump off with a second rope attached? Dude, I've straight up seen Russian f- video of that. They're just like, let's do some improv fucking rope work. Fucking woo! Swinging on a building, right? Like, dude, there's there's a certain element within society. American, uh, Russian, and Australian excel at this. Like, these are the three groups that really you can rely on for doing some crazy shit. That you're just like, what? Yeah. Yeah, you get, you, you know, you get up to levels of just, okay. Yeah. So I, I love it. I respect it. It's one of my favorite parts of humanity. What happens if I like strap a balloon to the top of like a, a thing and I have like self-contained atmosphere for myself and I jump from the edge of space and parachute Right, like that takes a that takes a certain kind of special to bring that about, and and, and of course, you know, <clears throat> hey, I got this really highly performative thing. It's going to be spectacular and is ath- athletically excelling. Red Bull, do you want to pay for it? Oh, you better believe Red Bull will be there to pay for that shit. Ah, oh, good old Felix. Sounds like Florida man shit. Dude, there's a certain honor in Florida man shit. There's a certain honor in it. There's a certain honor in it. There's, you know, being the creator of a good story, there's, there's something to that. Why do men have a lower life expectancy? Meanwhile, dudes butt chug it to get into frats. <clears throat> Dude, Florida is... Uh, <laughs> hey, Ryan. Dude, Florida man is honestly amazing. Yeah. Dude steals a jet ski, can't even swim. That's ballsy. Kind of respect it, right? Um, there's, no, there's a certain universality in it. Florida men just take it too far. <laughs> uh, brick, good on you. That, that, that means I trust you now. See, I, I think it takes, I think it takes an element of that growing up. You need it. You need to be exposed to it. You need to participate in it. Um, was it uh, T.S. Eliot? I'm going to bastardize this quote. I'm going to absolutely butcher this quote. And somebody like Marcus probably has this quote about the, uh, the only way you'll know, go to uh, uh, the only way you'll ever know uh, if you go too far how will you ever know if you've gone too far if you haven't tried to something, something, something? Either way, I've just butchered it and completely missed the point. But I do believe that. 
Like, if you haven't tested the limits, how do I trust you? Only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. There you go. Um, Marcus, I hate me too. Uh, I knew you'd have it. I knew you'd have that quote. But the, the, see, for Mar Marcus, as an IT guy, I I use the internet. Like, there, we can't possibly know the 100,000 details that is required to know to, like, set up uh, a properly functioning, like, Active Directory set up with an Exchange server and the file server and all those sorts of things. Like, there's 100,000 associated details. We can't possibly. But I know where I need to, and I know what exists where. Right, so I know there's a TSL quote that backs me up on this one, and I have that knowledge. That's I have the index. I don't I don't bother storing the data. The door to, the data is stored off site for me at this point. <clears throat> yeah, I just I just need the file index. I know it's in there. I'm like, there's a TS Elliot quote. Um, <laughs> fucking, hey. um, there you go. Oh God, did I did I did I? Oh, Jesus Christ. Somebody. Uh, love it when they. I love reading. I love it when people give me an argument for uh, uh, reading comprehension and educational reform. <laughs> That's always a fun one. It also is a little bit of a self report. It usually is. You're a little charged up. You saw the word. <clears throat> Brick, I can't pass a test, but I do carry a pocket reference book. Exactly. Um. Oh, it's not even the second time, dude. Cupcake, it's happened. It's 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 happened. It's happened. It's happened enough that I don't have an account uh, of it at this point. Oh, uh, you're a Republican. Oh dear, sweet Jesus. How, like, here's the problem, though. How do you? How do you square up all the other shit? Like, what are you in it for? For the, uh, what are you, one of these fiscal conservatives? That you're like, yeah, you know, I have like, you know, it's a policy decision for me. But your party is fucking chock full of genocidal maniacs, man. Like, how do you, how do you square that for yourself ethically? Like, is there, like, are there just inconsistencies within your ethical framework? Or do you square this up somehow? I'm legitimately curious. Because, I mean, I wouldn't, if I were a Catholic, I wouldn't call myself a Catholic. That's for fuck sure. I'd be like, no, I have nothing to do with that organization. I may have been brought up in it, but fuck no. Fuck that entire organization. They've done too much to protect and too, they've caused too much harm. I can't possibly in good conscience identify with and associate with. And so that that's just, it's like, wow, you are, whew. I mean, are you a reformer? Like, how does this work for you, your Catholic tool? So, like, how what, what's your fucking, what's your ideological position? What's your philosophical position on this? Like, they, these organizations are harmful. Look, we don't need to, dude, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to argue about the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is not a, a force for good in this world. I will, like, it's just, it is what it is. Fuck in at this point. We know too much. We know too much. Um... <clears throat> If you want to keep the religious stuff, keep the religious stuff. But the organization's got to go. It's fucking... Dude, this is Rico shit at this point. This is like mob shit. That organization's got to go. Um, But, like, yeah, the Republican thing is like, how how you squaring that up for yourself? Take your time. Type, you know. I'm not I'm not putting you under any pressure here. But I do um, have questions. Dude, homie, if you want to come on the air... <laughs> I'll have this conversation and you've already seen I'm fucking two bowls in so like I'm doing this one hand behind my back don't worry but like I would love to have this conversation with somebody who's you seem relatively chill you've been in here for a little bit uh Decorey Smith follow Joe then how do you agree with these organ how do you identify with these organizations I got, these are my questions man I got fundamental questions this would work better in voice because how, what, what, what leads you to be, what, what leads you to call yourself a Republican? Why do you call yourself a Republican and how do you square that up with all of the insanity that the Republican party is up to? If you gr agree with so much of what my positional 
sort of status would be like how how is any of that working for you like are you some sort of like martin luther reformist type for the republican party are you like how does this work or do you actually believe in this shit <clears throat> i got questions i got questions i'm slightly drunk too all right i'll work with it drunk is always different than stoned Go to VC. Well, we'll see the first test, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll Just read the first two sentences. Just read the first two sentences. Just read the first two sentences of the welcome page. You'll be fine. You seem nice. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a tool tip. Just read the first two sentences of the welcome page. The instructions are in there. Uh, feature request. Uh, timer for the welcome page on sc on screen. Oh God, a timer. Oh, I hate shit like that. I could do it. I could do it. Viva. Oh, it's so rare that we'd need to, oh, but you know, fine, 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 fine. It would be funny. It would be funny. Fair enough. Yeah, we can do that. We can get a fucking timer going. There we go. Do list just grew a little longer. Oh, hasn't made it past the welcome screen. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We'll be kind. Because that wasn't going to happen. <clears throat> Yeah, I've already I've already given it to you. I've already made it so he's passed the welcome screen. <laughs> uh Oh, probably boom. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would assume so. I would assume all the spaces do. Most of them. Like I mean probably not like public, but like yeah, yeah. Voice chat, Joe. Voice chat. Um Uh, yeah, I would automatically assume so. <laughs> Help me, Step Kai. I'm stuck. Fuck you, Rye. Fuck you, Rye. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll go into voice chat so you can see me there. This could be this could be rough. You know this is gonna be rough, right? When they when they can't get past the welcome screen, it's always a thing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we can create rule sets for it. Once it's up and running. I got the uh, beast. I got the new ring. I got the next ring. Here. It's it's nearby. I got to do the mail. Yeah, it's going to be a minute, Beast, because I already just... But this is the next one up. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just... But I wanted it done. 
yeah, I wanted it done. I wanted it in my hand. Because these fucking jewelry companies. <clears throat> yeah, this is the German one. Yeah. Fucking, they have all sorts of crazy processes. Um, yeah, this is the German one again. I, I used some fucking American company for the one that's in now. Dear sweet Jesus, they were terrible. Painfulpleasures.com. Holy fuck, are they bad. <clears throat> uh, oh, shit. E-Composer. Uh... Oh, good to know, you composer. <clears throat> um, DM replied to. All right. New segment, Kai just reviewing King Gear and the companies that make them. Dude, PainfulPleasures.com is just garbage company. I'm sorry. They are. They, they, they were bad. They were bad. They were bad. Um, but, uh, uh, hey, Roach, fucking John, or oh, I've already lost track. Um, yeah, Joe. I, I made it. Uh, sorry, Discord, I opened it, and it completely brought me somewhere else, so I'm in the webpage. Okay. Well, let me um, do this. Hopefully you will survive this. Okay, I hear you. Um, count to five for me, please, really quickly so I can get your audio set for stream. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, I mean, you already know my basic question. Like, I, I, how do you square that for yourself? Dude, I couldn't, like, it's not even like, I don't, I'm, I'm agnostic. Like, I think it's goofy to even think that somebody has an answer to it. We're all humans at this point. I think they, to just say, you know, it's fucking goofy as shit. But beyond that, it's about belonging to an organ, identifying with an organization, Republican or the church. Right. Like it's about identifying with an organization that's like got like real fucking blood on its hands. And it just I don't know how anyone does that. Well, I mean, any organization really, there's always something fucked up like uh, uh, with religion. It's the I ideology, right? No, no, no. Yeah. It's the kid fucking. It's the kid fucking. That's I the, mean, that that's stuff, the, dude, that's I think the problem. So well, me personally, I have kids, dude. So I, even before I had kids, those people, I think they need to be treated to a quick death or a long death possibly. But, but the organization protected them. Yeah, they did. It's fucked up. I hate all those fuckers. Well, but that's, I can't, I did this for somebody else the other night. I said, <clears throat> if somebody in your community had a house with three rooms and one room was a bedroom, one room was a kitchen and one was a rape dungeon. And out of that kitchen, he fed the entire community, anybody, large, small, home, it doesn't matter. They fed everybody. But if you knew about the rape dungeon, would you go work with the dude in his kitchen doing the charity? I posit that I would not work with the dude with an active rape dungeon. Uh, and that's my problem is that like how the fuck do you get over that fact because i can't possibly forgive that that's that's not you don't get to come back from that organizationally speaking it's like you're done homie you protected to the tune of dude we're probably in the millions you know that right like the the oh, probably is. yeah the French the French study over 70 years right 330,000 came down to about 12 a day Came down to about 12 of a fucking day for just France for 70 years. And you just like, oh, yeah, because it's a new thing, right? They just started in the last 70 years. You start talking That's those. Bullshit. Yeah, you start talking those real numbers. Homie, this is a thousand year old organization. I know. Right? Like right. Dude, it goes, it goes, it goes back a lot more than that because how, you know, so, so how do you who do that? How do you call yourself a Catholic, man? <laughs> like, how have you not left oh. it? It's easy. 
right? It's the faith. I like the faith, and you know I can't explain religion to you or give you you know my beliefs, but I don't go there for the church. I don't give the church any money. I refuse to give them money. Um, we'll never do it until the people who are in <clears throat> responsible for all that shit are gone, and none of them are going to be gone because they're just all filling it all back up with each other. It's a fucked up organization. Actually, I haven't been to church in almost a year now because those fuckers. Uh, giving it all I got, Gemma. I just maxed it. Um, I... Was, oh, yeah, are I you know if the... I was on mute that entire time. <laughs> no, no, no you're, you're, you're fine. I was just adjusting your volume for chat and checking chat there. I, I just, it, it just, I don't know, man. That. It... So if you're not... Well, at how you're not actively like partaking in the rites and rituals required of a Catholic. Are you a Catholic anymore? Uh, yes and no. I mean, as long as you think you're in the wrong for doing it, you're, you're still, uh, practicing the faith. You no, know? it's hard to do because you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to do that shit. You can't take the rights. You can't take communion. Yeah. When, like you're in sin, right? Like y'all, yeah, y'all got middlemen in your system, and so like, yeah, that's that's like, if you're not part, like, are you a Catholic anymore? It's probably the question, really. Oh, I definitely still am. It's, it's it's the people that piss me off. It's not the faith. The faith alone is is something. Faith is just like ideals, right? Like, you don't. Okay, so there's. What's it called? Darwin. Okay, Darwinism. We'll have faith in it. It's not solid fucking fact. Like, there is a lot of fact, but a lot of it's faith-based, too. People just fucking buy into it. They have no idea about all the shit with Darwinism. They just buy into it. It's faith. Do you think science is faith? Yeah. Are you one of those people that thinks science is a religion? No. Okay. Well... Science is theory, right? Like, theories doesn't mean it's a fact. There are some facts of the world. You can't deny it. I don't think the world's fucking flat. I know people who do, but no. So, <clears throat> in what way are you a Republican? I believe in representation. I, I am very conservative. I, I don't want to pay a bunch of taxes can hate taxes i do think we should have general welfare you know all the good stuff but none of the bad stuff what's the bad stuff well the bad stuff of the republican party is a lot look the, every, both parties fucking suck both of them are made uh corporations people that's the biggest fuck up of our entire country corporations are now people they can fucking support whoever they want pour billions of dollars into them we get fucking people like Trump and you, Biden and fucking you, everyone else. Do you want to? Do you want to know who you actually need to point your ire at for that very court decision? Because I can tell you Republican. because the la <clears throat> it's a Republican. No, 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 no. The labor history of America is deep and fascinating. As an an anarchist, uh, you automatically are a student of it. You're required to be. Um, the the origin point of the p capability of the Supreme Court to rule that corporations were people began with the creation of corporate personhood vis-a-vis -a, -vis a series of um, uh, lawsuits brought by Southern Pacific Railroad in beginning in the uh, the mid 1800s and then all the way up into the uh, to the early 1900s. And as a result of these decisions that this railroad pursued, railroad ty tycoons, right? You remember that shit? Fucking steel magnets and railroad tycoons and fucking that, that robber barons, that era of wealth. They laid the, All government subsidies. They laid the groundwork for this era of legal creation of corporate personhood and money being being wealth this this conversation begins a long time ago and has been at work for quite some time um lots of fucking blame to go around but certain um i would argue lines of 
decency have recently been crossed. Um, and by recently, I mean decades. Um, and I think that the fact of the matter is, is that to identify oneself openly as a Republican or a Democrat is probably to invite mockery in some sense in the, especially in the modern context. I know what you're saying, but at the same time, like when I say Republican, I believe in a Republic. I, I like a Republic. Democratic Republic works pretty fucking good. Not perfect. And we're not Britain though. Not fucking France. Not Russia. So we have some representation. Brass, brass tax. Can I get rid of the Senate? No. No? No. How about the Electoral College? Oh, hell no. Okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Now, the, the Electoral College doesn't work for me. I live in Washington, right? So I, I can't get rid of it? I mean, no, you can't. I can't. Either. No, I'm. I'm saying no, I'm within saying, a hypothetical set of scenarios. I'm saying. I'm. I'm. I'm asking you. Can we get rid of the electoral college? No, uh, dude. I. I don't trust any of these fuckers, and I don't want any of them to have any more power than they have. Then get rid of the electoral college. It's either going to go to the, the Congress and the Senate, or to someone else, and we don't need more people having more power. They need all need less power. Th then why keep it? Why not modify it? Why not have your vote for your district actually count? Like, okay, there's 12 votes, electoral votes in, in Washington State. You the East Coast, or sorry, the West Coast gets. To make the decision, they always do, right? This is real. This is Washington. real simple math. This is real simple math. Why not one person, one vote? We do have one person, one vote. I don't, can you vote? No, there's multiple steps between this, and you're even advocating for keeping a a, a check in the form of the electoral college. I'm saying I want a direct line to the presidential vote. The person who gets the most votes wins. Yeah, but that's not representative. Is How is that not I representative? Mean, that's literally the most basic form of the person who wins the most points in the football game but, wins, not the person who has right. less points but moves the ball the most. In, in the football game, yeah, but what about people in Wyoming? What about people in New Jersey? What about them? They're, they're the minority. Oh, okay. Get representation, equal representation. That's what it is. Oh, is it? Do you? Is it? Are you afraid of being minority in this country? No, I don't give a shit about being a minority. I'm already a minority. Well, then, direct democracy should work for you. Uh, d democracy doesn't work for anyone. No, I'm an anarchist. It, I'd get it, rid okay, of it, it all. Does. It does. Democ democracy does work for some people, and. That's the mob. I don't want the mob. I don't like people. I don't trust people. So you want a you want a learned elite to rule your rule your life for you? Nope. I don't want anyone. I want it as small as possible. I want them to have less power. But you're everyone creating a system in which they have more power. You're you're saying you want them to have less power, but then you're giving power to the very system you want to disempower. How is this at all well, matters. logically consistent? Priority. Okay, majority rule with true democracy, right? So everyone in the town next to me gets to vote how they want to spend the money for the county. Well, that town overpopulates my town. I don't want all my fucking money going to that city. It's stupid. Not, not equal representation. So... 
you don't believe we should have things like the interstate interstate highway system either then do you i mean we can have federal funding for highways but it needs to be coming off of the taxes that pay not extra funding extra funding for this extra funding for that extra funding say for trillion dollar bailout for corporations yeah dude that's such bullshit shouldn't bail out anyone if you fail you fucking fail <clears throat> so again republicans are for that dude they were all for that, that fucking uh, all for that money like again yeah, so are, I, 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 no i agree with you this but is so are democrats that's the problem uh, yes but again so call yourself a democrat i don't understand how you're a republican either the same way that I don't understand how you're a Catholic, I'm not entirely sure I understand how you're a Republican. Because I believe in small government. and Then you're, then you're a minarchist. I, sh I, sh I shouldn't be able to tell you, right? You live in another place than I do. I shouldn't tell you how to spend your money, what taxes you should have to pay. It's not right. Our state, our localities, I really wish everything was brought more to a local level. Not fucking someone fucking a thousand miles away get to tell me how much money I have to pay to the federal government and the state government and then the county and then the city. It all needs to be smaller. I'd rather just pay fucking city taxes and all that shit's distributed and fuck them if they want more. <clears throat> so you're ca you identify as Catholic. You identify as Republican, though you're closer to a libertarian slash minarchist, frankly. Um, let's see a social, uh, social axes. Um, what right do you believe you have to interject yourself into anyone else's life? It matters. Okay. What do you mean? Well, what, to what degree are you prepared to empower the state to do so? How far down into somebody's life should any form of governance in this country have? Uh, interacting with someone's life is pretty much should be minimal to me, um, as long as it's not killing someone or harming people. That's should the sh should we have the right death, should we have the death penalty? <clears throat> oh yeah. Why? Because some people need to die. They're Who, fucked up. Who's going to administer that justice? Whoever gets the position. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It'd be me if I had to. No, 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 no. Let's not tap dance this. Who institutionally will be conducting that? It's the state, right? It's that's the right the state has to do. Okay, that, well, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. That same crew that you were just expressing displeasure and distrust at, because they are corrupt, they are inept, and they are incapable of working on behalf of the people because of all of these fundamental problems, institutionally speaking, right? You are saying, I also trust them with life, life and death over, uh, over us. How no. in no. any sane world can a person know how dysfunctional our governance is and in the same breath say they should have power over life and death? I don't trust these fuckers to do anything, frankly, and I'm not going to give them power over life and death because of some weird societal need for vengeance because we we see how incompetent these organizations are and at the very least incompetent and at their worst they're actively malicious that's just the way it works okay but who do you suggest to take no care one. of society at the same point no one dude we shouldn't have the death penalty we're fucking reasoned people at this point it doesn't work it doesn't work there's so many studies it doesn't work Fucking the very core of fucking Hollywood drug dealer movies will tell you it doesn't work. Are any of these fuckers actually stopping their behavior because of the threat of fucking death? 
No, it just drives up the price for things. This is just basic fucking capitalism. You're creating a higher demand and restricting supply, so it fucking drives the cost up even on the back end. No one's fucking stopping crime. Nobody's stopping uh, in the heat of the moment murders. Nobody's stopping the fuck. It, it literally doesn't work. All it does is give a corrupt, coercive, oppressive group of power-hungry maniacs the social ability to kill people. That's crazy. There should be no death penalty. If you, you can believe in having a death penalty, but advocating for one in the current climate under this governance is nuts. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, who judges people at trials? You ever heard of a racist lynching trial? Yeah. You gonna you gonna come at me with fucking twelve uh, twelve of your peers? You know how many times that fucking jury shit? My stepdad was a judge, by the way. You know how easily manipulatable a a, a grand jury is? It's hilarious. No. Miss me with that. The just the so-called justice system in this country was built, founded, and operates solely on the uh, the operating principle of the rich and powerful uh, basically skate through this, and the marginalized and poor will be oppressed by it. It is a tool of the system to maintain the status quo, and always has been. That's true. It's always been status quo for governments or those in power to maintain some sort of visible order right it doesn't it, matter what kind of government it is across the board is in charge yep the judiciary gets rigged order. right doesn't matter what form you rig the judiciary it's step one right so how how in good conscience can someone in today's day say that group of people is who i want to trust in trust with the most critical decision that we could ever entrust them with the power to kill someone. It's a hard question, right? You can't, there's no perfect answer to it. No, no, no there, is, there want, actually is. You want to put people in prison forever? Yeah. We just fill up the prisons. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Americans don't understand how this works. No, we really don't. It, it, we've we do, there's even been several documentaries at this point that have taken um, police officers and uh, uh, in one instance a police uh, chief of police over to um, Norway to talk to and interview and go to and understand this process. Norway was running out of prisoners, and so they literally like the surrounding areas started sending them prisoners like do you understand how low the recidivism rate is to the point where you literally start having to just dismantle your prison apparatus is because you figured it out you figured it out it's really not that complicated of a fucking formula and the fact of the matter is is americans refuse to approach this pro uh, problem correctly our system is designed to create recid a drive a create and drive up recidivism. It's designed to suck people into the prison uh, prison in industrial complex. This system is not in any way, shape, or form designed to prevent, mitigate, or resolve cr a criminal element within our society. It is very much the opposite. It is a codified version of the slave plantations of old. It operates via the Thirteenth Amendment, which um has the clause slavery shall not exist except in instances of conviction. All right. And this has been upheld by uh, multiple Supreme court rulings. Uh, but for the time he is a slave of the state is one of the rulings quotations on that matter. So the prison industrial complex in this wholly corrupt entity that we both agree exists is founded upon this fucked up principle operates along these ways is designed to create and perpetuate this cycle. And these are the fuckers who get to say whether we live or die. Are you kidding me? No, absolutely not. The death penalty should not exist. The only fix for that would be a completely armed society. I, you mentioned Norway, but Norway is a completely homogenous society. There it is. 
It's homogenous. They all are the same. I've studied the prison shit, dude. I, my brother-in-law's in prison right now, but he's gotten in and out and in and out in and out in and out because they let him go. He fucking does a drive-by shooting. Oh, you're in jail for six months. Oh, you're dealing heroin. Oh, you're in prison for a month or two. You're back out. Oh, you robbed something. Oh, you're in prison for or jail for a month. That's not a good fucking system. So again, how can you advocate for this shit? How can you identify with the group who perpetuates this cycle? How do you square any of this? This is my original question. This is originally how I got, why I wanted you on the air was how do you square any of this in your head? Because as near as I can tell, there is a dozen, dozen logical inconsistencies with <laughs> the thought process on this. How do you call yourself a Catholic and a Republican with all of these problems? Because no matter what, there's always problems. No matter what society, there's always problems. It, we had, we used to have what the most people in prison in we, of any we, country. We right? still do. Per capita do and do? raw number. Because I know we have released a shit ton. It might Aww. have been just jails they released. But uh, America's pretty safe, right? Pretty safe if you compare it to other countries it's pretty safe it's even safer if like you yourself you know you take care of yourself i don't trust the police those fuckers are corrupt i know they're corrupt i know you're arguing with me about it i know the police are corrupt the fucking entire justice system is corrupt i stay the fuck away from them because there is no fair jury trial but i don't have the answer to how we fix it i don't know anyone who does have the answer to fix it pop quick Pop quiz. Should a gay couple be allowed to adopt a child? No. You broke up. No. No? Dude, I'm Catholic. Like, <laughs> am I going to kill you or be, threaten you? No. I wouldn't threaten you over any of that stuff. It's stupid right to vote on it and you have a right to representation over it oh class okay um should gay people have the right to marriage i don't think gay people can be married buddy but that's a disagreement like i just don't believe in it do you think sister, do you do, do you sister. think the catholic form of marriage is the only form of marriage no. Do you deny that for the majority of human history, your form of marriage was not the predominant one within society? I wouldn't deny that, no. Then how in any way, shape, or form can you claim to have an authentic form of marriage? I'm just saying that's my opinion on marriage. I'm not saying... That's my, my beliefs on marriage. Yes, and I'm investigating those beliefs with a series of questions. I, I don't, gay people can't procreate. They can't have children, right? They can adopt, but so, I don't think gay people should adopt. I don't think a lot of people should adopt. So should a sterile couple not be considered married? They can be considered married, but... Why? They can't procreate. Like I said, they can be, can be considered married. So you wouldn't consider them married? Matters. Matters on the circumstance. So give me an example of a circumstance in which they would and would not be considered married. If people are born without the ability to create children, right? Male and female. Like, this is a belief system, so arguing about it, if like you're trying to prove a point. It's ridiculous because it's my belief system, not yours. What I'm looking for are uh, inconsistencies because while I understand it's a belief system, the one thing and the only thing that you can ask when investigating a belief system is for consistency. And when uh, I tend to find within the Abrahamic realm plenty of inconsistency. And so that's why I'm investigating that. Oh, yeah, it's a belief system. It's not perfect. 
Yes, but the problem the, the, the problem is the perpetuation of marginalization and oppression within society due to a poorly operating belief system. Bad, badly, we're badly. We're definitely, we're definitely going to disagree about marriage and homosexuality, right? Badly you tuned know. belief systems kill people, and the Catholic history has killed very many people. So forgive me on behalf of humanity for taking a moment and saying, okay, maybe the moral authority in the room shouldn't be the group that is responsible for millions of deaths, literal crusades, and possibly millions of child rapes and the genociding and elimination of indigenous people on a global scale. Maybe the moral authority in the room should not be that collective group. Because whatever you may be representing, some version of your telling of God, the truth of the matter is, is that by claiming participation of as Catholic, you adopt and bear the weight of their sins as well. And so it's very much a, a bit of an interesting conversation to have in society about who's, who gets rights, who gets access to certain particulars within our, our society, and who is denied them, um, and who is put upon, and who is harmed. Um, and who is criminalized, right? These, these conversations very much matter, and they matter on a micro and a macro because every large group of people is made up of individual people. And so it's a little troublesome when the sinners are casting very many stones. Yeah, so... If you want to just focus on what we disagree on, we're going to disagree on like probably five or six things. Probably going to agree on a lot more than that. The, the problem is, is that right now the apparatus has been hijacked by a group that has a uh, series of shibboleths, uh, of which these are particularly some of them. And they matter because people are going to die over this one because they continue to. They have, they will continue to. And so this is one of those things that matter. I don't know who's dying right now. I lived through the age crisis. I lived through Matthew Shepard. I lived through countless amounts of black trans uh, individuals within inner cities being murdered. I've lived through the fuck. This is, are you going to, I've, do you know how many residential schools for the indigenous uh, people in this, uh, on this continent have been, up, oh God, homie, like people die every day as a result of this nonsense. You think I support that? I definitely don't. I, people who harm people because of their beliefs should be in the jail, which you don't agree with. And I think they should be executed, which you don't agree with. And who's going to do that? Well, that's the problem is it's got to be the state, right? The state has to do that. The so, state should. So who should be in charge state of that protect state? Then? Your right just as much as it protects my right. So right? Who, who are you going to entrust with these hallowed halls? Sadly, we have to trust these stupid fucks who get elected. Well, I say no. Who are you going to trust? Because, homie, I'm an anarchist. Homie, I'm an anarchist. We have entire dual power structure ideas going on. We operate homeless kitchens and shit like that. Like we do our own thing. Like we already know we can't uh, uh, trust the state. Like this is a fucking 200 year old conversation for anarchists at this point, but we don't work with fascists. And just because somebody doesn't like the state doesn't mean anarchists are like, hey, we ag we agree, guy. We don't like the state either. Let's all work together. We're kind of notorious for, you know, 
handling business historically. So, yeah, for like a typical lib, yeah, they could probably find some common ground there. But the fact of the matter is, is that in our camp, we got too many stories about people literally being put in the ground because of this Christo fascist uh, nonsense. Yeah, but I mean, anarchists, I mean, the closest, what is the closest form to anarchy you can think of? Like, what country was most in anarchy? I can think of a couple, and none of it was good, buddy. Like, you have to have, Do anarchy have, is not a belief system. It's the absence of a belief system. Good. It's the absence he of thinks trust. It's, he thinks no, it's, I can understand he thinks it's, trust. he thinks it's chaos, guys. He thinks it's chaos. Mm, pookie. This is, this is, this is always good. This is always fun. <sighs> I posted a video for you in, in which it's anarchy. Yeah. Um, oh, this should be white as kids, you know, all oh, adorable. Okay. So anarchism. <laughs> Anarchism is about a collapsing down of unjust hierarchies. It's about a power dynamic analysis. It's about an un, uh, elimination and replacement of unjust and coercive elements within a belief system and with active uh, organizations within society. Anarchist is not the absence of organization. In fact, it is highly organized sets of groups. During the Spanish Civil War, anarchistic communes produced 50% of the agriculture and 50% of the indus industry and machinery for the country as they went through their civil war in the 1900s. Right. This is the fact of the matter. Anarchism is when you get the fuck out of my way and you start considering yourself an equal rather than an oppressor, rather than a manager, rather than an owner, rather than the fucking stockholder. Anarchism is about a, 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 a distributed topology of organization and a fair, equitable power dynamic analysis. We would, we would reference you to Foucault, but he's also problematic given the post-structuralist French element contained there within. But the truth of the matter is, is he probably is going to give you the best, best lecture you need on power dynamic analysis from sort of a pseudo-anarchistic point of view. We are not chaotic. What you perceive within, say, Black Bloc or Antifa actions is not necessarily anarchists. Black Bloc is a militarized strategy. That is, uh, that is designed to produce a set of results and minimize engagement with the police. That's not what anarchism is about. Anarchism is about converting the capitalist fucking McMansions into residences for the homeless, the dispossessed, the trans youth that the parents who have been taught a toxic ideology kicked out. We're about feeding the homeless on a global scale, which everyday Food Not Bombs does. Right. We're not about that. But you, you are a propagandized mind. You bought the state's lecture. The Wilson administration released a series of pamphlets. And yeah, you know, the same administration that created the IRS and the Federal Reserve, that guy, Jekyll Island guy. Yeah. He also came for the anarchists because the anarchists, guess what? They weren't happy with, with capitalist oligarchs running our lives. And they fought and they fought hard and they fought on a global scale and they were massacred and they were fucking absolutely run through the propaganda mill and the middle class was taught to hate them. And it was caught, it was created, uh, it was a synonym now with chaos and absolute horror, murder and killing policemen, those beloved officers of the law. Anarchism is a, a tool of analysis. It's a method. It's a way of approaching a problem. That's what anarchism is. Any poli-sci major can break this down for you. Any, any civics major could break this down for you. The fact that you went there immediately as the chaotic explanation of anarchy in a jovial fashion is the number one indicator you just stepped in it, homie. Like, that's the marker around these parts. It's like you... There are answers to these questions. When you say, what can you do? There are answers. 
There are people, groups, ideologies, philosophies, countries, nations, states, a- ambiguous entities, temporary autonomous zones. There are groups and people all across the globe who have answered these questions time and time and time again. But for some reason, be it the propagandization, the nation statism, the fucking head up the acidism, the consumerism, whether it's the bread and circuses uh, or not, I don't know. The American public seems particularly dissuaded and uh, absolutely lost in the wilderness at this point. But there are answers. And a lot of the sort of like the the counters to it is a lot of throwing up hands, a lot of racism, a lot of bigotry, a lot of it's a lot of othering. If it weren't for that group, if it weren't for those people, if they didn't, if they didn't, how would you mind your own fucking business? Cross the board. Right? Like that's cross the board. You have no right to tell anybody how to live their life. You just don't. And historically, the group that was there for the women, for the indigenous communities, for the black people, for the workers, it was the anarchists. We were the ones who showed up. We're the ones who still celebrate the Blair Mountain miners. We're the ones who understand the function of labor within the economy. We're the ones who defend the little man, not attempt to give our power away to systems of control that will inevitably become hijacked by the oligarchy, as it always does. Why not attempt to think differently? Why not build differently? Why call oneself a Republican or a Democrat? Why operate along social conservative lines when they're counterproductive? Maximizing the value and the light on the life of the members of your community is only good for the community. Putting people down, holding them down, forcing them to live ways they don't want to live. This is counterproductive. It's an efficiency problem at the very least. It's a bottleneck for your social for your social currency. There's anarchists have critiques across the board for all of this. It's one of the most reasoned, well thought out. And the reason that it's shat upon, the reason you've been taught to fear it and hate it and mock it is because no authoritarian ever will ever teach you the tools necessary to undermine their authority. Why do you think anarchism is so verboten in our society? Why do you think the very word has been come to associate it, be so strongly associated with this element? We're the fucking walking solution, and we have organizations the globe over that prove it on a regular basis. But the fact of the matter is, you, is that you're are you the final solution. Uh, no, you are. No, that's a joke. It's- a lot of what you're saying, I'm sorry, I'm not saying you are a Nazi or anything like that, but a lot of the stuff, it just sounds like what Hitler said. And uh, I'm not saying that you sound like Hitler, it just, I thought it was funny. Mm. But uh, see, I am fucking tired. I am five beers in. And I know we disagree, and it's okay. Love you, I hope you have a good life. I'm just gonna go to bed, buddy. Sleep well. It's okay. Oh, Voss. An Arcos, and without Arcos ruler, without ruler. Ah, uh, the welcome page doing its magic again, says Viva. The welcome page is infallible. 
the welcome page is the divine. Oh, uh, stat show many shows have dead executive brain function. Uh, also increased amygdala size. The fear response within social conservatism um, has a feedback loop of some sort. There's still, we don't know what kicks it off. Whether, you know, start that way with an enlarged amygdala and it makes you that uh, 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 predisposed towards those sorts of fear-based ideologies or whether those fear-based ideologies create an overactive synaptic response and overstimulates and develops, overdevelops that area. We don't really know at this point, but there is a correlative uh, set uh, between conservative, uh, conservative ideologies, modern conservative ideologies, and an increased amygdala uh, in the brain, which is responsible for the you know fear, flight and flight, uh, flight and flight response, uh, fight and flight response. Uh, yes, it was Cassie. It was yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, is the is the welcome page our own Fermi filter? Yeah, kinda. Uh, Oh, Silax, I mean. Mm. Tells me you came from the street, though, and that means I trust you. But, yeah. Um, so that was a conversation, but they had the say to have it. Yeah, you know. Um, yes, it is. It is still pinned. <laughs> uh, very much so. Oh, um, let me throw e Composer... Where's my fucking steam shit? Steam shit, go. I, I really do like having a stream deck. I, I, admittedly, like, it's super useful for fucking streaming. It's necessary for streaming. Um, But, like, I love having it just for other shit. Like, command, common commands on the computer. It's just like, yeah, just push a button for that. Oh, it's great. Uh, let's see. Friends... Add a friend. Uh, e composer, if you're listening, I added you. There we go. Cool, cool. Just get that done. Um. I was raised in the streetlights. Yeah, sorry. So it tells me everything. It's 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 a it's a, a, a not a theory head's understanding of it, but that's okay. I much prefer people who were brought up in street anarchism and direct action, and then become theory heads. It's a much more um, balanced education in it. So yeah. Um. You didn't ask if they took the OT seriously, but I forgive you. Eh, ah, well. Sorry, Rev. Metacognitive, <laughs> metacognitive therapy talk applied to Chud Theory. Um, okay, call the clock, you will. So, uh, set up Fermi filter. What are you playing? Why isn't it Bloons TD6? Uh, I play uh, at present Sniper Elite 5 and Zomboid in eh, seven days somewhat um, with the community. Yeah. <sighs> Only Intelligent Life will make it through without help. Um... Oh, it's Silex. That's why half of what I fucking do is asking people what the fuck they mean with a, by a word. What's it mean to you to be a Catholic? Because it doesn't mean like it doesn't seem to me you're being a Catholic, right? Like that. That's that's. God, that's probably eighty-five percent of what I do. This is a rhetorician. Just trying to figure out what fucking people mean. <laughs> I, it's a heavy dose of Socratic with a heavy dose of order. Like that's that's sort of my approach at this point is I want to investigate and I want to lecture. So I just use a heavy dose of Socratic up front and then I just pile on an oration towards the end. That seems to be my style. Um, Catholics are fake Christians. Dude, go to Deep South. They're not considered Christians. They're not considered Christians. 
Even the Baptists hate him. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to take a key from Drunk Guy and go to sleep. It's 1230 here. Also, uh, uh, Night All. Also, Kai, Discord me the stream ID before the heat death of the universe. Uh, oh, the Steam ID. Sorry. Fucking stream ID. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll just send you a fucking link here. Jesus Christ. Um, nope. And I'll send you both, Marcus. I'll send you my friend code and um, a quick link. There you go. I have both. I didn't know you wanted it. Is this something you asked if, like a while ago? That I'm just like. Uh, none are real. Christians, uh, unless they're anarchist, comment, just prove me wrong. Um. Let's see, Babbitt. I was raised by uh, fanatic Roman Catholics. Oof. If I were able to live on my own, I would have walked away from them decades ago. They're wacky as shit. Um, that's fair. Catholics don't consider them Christians either. <laughs> Except the Spanish Inquisition. Um, yeah, but the good Silax is all the like community aspect of it, right? Like it's not you. The good is not unique to them. There's nothing uniquely good about the, the Catholic Church in any way, shape, or form. Any good they have, like, anybody can do. Like, it doesn't need to be that group. And that's sort of the crux of the argument, really, isn't it? It's like, eh, let's just get rid of them all. Yeah. Like, I, I dude, I, I, I think humans totally have a need for that. Like, we need church. But not, we don't need church, church. We just need community. We need gathering. We need a sense of social interaction. We need a network. Yeah. We don't need children being raped systemically and people's pockets being fleeced when capitalism is already fucking raping them. <laughs> Too hip. Oh. Yeah, what a concept. That, that, that sounds like science, Silax. I, I don't know about that. It's made up shit. Raised Catholic. Was even an altar boy. Um, I also clearly remember my mom mentioning to stay away from the bishop. We don't trust him around the kids. I knew it was BS at like 12. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> stay away from the fucking bishop. I mean, good honor for the fucking heads up at least. But Jesus Christ. Talk about our fucking fucked up heads up to have to give your kid, right? Like, that's... Why are you a part of that organization? That's, again, my question. Why are you a part of that organization if you're fucking give that? Social pressures. You know, yeah, I get it. I get it. Fucking... All right. Here's how this is going to go down. We're, we're, we're going to be over in VC probably playing, playing Zomboid. Aspen... I'm going to get some food, Aspen, and we're going to go do a thing. Uh, we're going to be over in VC. So, eComposer, fucking, if you went into, just join, like, I don't know if you can join VC or something, eComposer, and just not talk. I don't know if that works for you or something. eComposer's going to join us in-game Aspen, too, but doesn't have a mic. So, eComposer's going to be on text and fucking typey-type on the uh, in-game. Um, fucking. Oh, you don't even need to join voice chat. Just type in voice chat for us. Yeah, like while we're getting the game ready, so we can communicate with you, um, and then we'll t we'll do in-game chat with you. Um, no worries. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we'll do that. We'll we'll get you and just type in voice chat ahead of time, and then we'll fucking blah blah blah. blah. But yeah, we'll be meeting up in VC here. If you want to swing through, we'll be on there. We we can continue conversation, and we oftentimes it's a little more um, <clears throat> informative, shall we say? A more a more liberal tongue can be applied on discord as opposed to uh, twitch so if you ever want to have like a closer to a real conversation not quite but closer to a real conversation discord is probably where you want to be for that um either way bye